Pulowski's. Um, D and DDT. I don't want to wait too long because I feel like we were at a good point to get right into it. So we'll just go around the table and everyone can introduce themselves. Oh, I'm Ben King Ginger. I run this game. <laughs> <laughs> so casual, super cash. I'm Shannon. I play Ellie. I am Nate. I'm playing Kortosh, a wonderful druid. I am Orin Vite, playing Magnar Steelsaw, Goliath Wizard. I am Silverback, playing Torin Norixius, the Dragonborn Ranger. I'm Warrior. I play Balder, uh, Verbolg Hexblade Warlock. I'm Cassandra. I play Roya. She's a Vidulcan Warrior Princess. What does everyone remember about the state you individually were in at the end of last session? Everything's fine. I'm unconscious! Yay! I have one hit point! Yay! <laughs> I found a bag of healing potions! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> That'd be great! Do you have one of these, Nate? No. Because if you did, I would take it away for your line. That, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I don't think... I, I, I remember did that anyone we have got inspiration at the end I mean, of we did. Set. We were all so inspiring. Does anyone have one? Uh, actually, do I? Yeah, I had a note that we were starting... We all, we all had I do have it marked. I can just erase it. No, I, I have one. <laughs> this time, you get a warning, Nate. <laughs> Putting you on there. Oh, the, I uh, dropped it. <laughs> Finley's <laughs> buddy. You Man, lost your inspiration? I, I went to... All that trouble to make it so dramatic, and then I just yeah. dropped it on the floor. Where'd it go? And as we talked I don't about, even see it. I got it. I, okay. I found it. In chat, it. I forgot to mention Alzina Half, who brought you to uh, Belinda and Jeremy Vin's farmhouse, also took the cone of cold. She is down. Well, she should be tougher. <laughs> Negative hit points or a zero? You can't tell unless you go over and make a, a medicine check. I can't. I'm unconscious. You are unconscious. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing idiot. anything right now. I'm unconscious. You check in the back of your eyelids. <laughs> Some nap time. So I need the rest. It's fine. I think where we left off last time was Balder had gotten out of the hole. Yep. So it's canon. I got out of the hole. Out of the hole. <laughs> yep. Kind of a lot of misinformation being passed yeah. around about whether or not I'm in a hole. Fake all news. <laughs> <laughs> Town crier, here, here out in the morning. A crunching of wood and a rustling of leaves to a intensity of you, you have not heard before comes exploding out of the nearby wood and a massive form. I love how they put pictures on cards now. Show it to the camera. Get it's real close. Really far away. Yeah, it's really nice. I, 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 I have that deck of cards. You could totally do it. All you do is reach out. Absolutely. You can see it. It'd be great. You can visualize it. You can visualize it. It's a Minotaur skeleton. Spooky. It is spooky. Um, steps, yeah, steps out of the forested area and in a, with a baleful gleam in its holes where eyes should be there is a bluish energy and it scans this kind of battlefield sees the necromancer peg the friendly now headless and begins to focus in on you intrepid adventurers it will then be going next round mag so the rest of you get a free round magnar maximilian's earth and grasp Maximilian's Earth and Grasp, it is. Yeah, I need to make a saving throw. Grapple him. Yeah, strength of 14, does, which I'm sure you're going to fucking kill it. Does your like hand come out of a gun? It does. What do That's you mean by cool. that? So hand. I have to make a saving throw, correct? Yeah. Strength saving throw? Yep. Yeah, he breaks right through it. No, the motherfucker. But it's still left. Because he's a big old strong boy. He is a strong it's boy. concentration. Okay. So it is still up. You want to move? Do, what do you want to do? He's a strong boy, but not a nasty boy. Yeah, I'd like to <laughs> back up a little bit. I think oh. he's both. He's an undead. For a sexy he's a, boy? He's an undead like minotaur. Boy? I don't know I if he's that. Boy. I think that falls outside of his <laughs> comfort zone. Um, so <laughs> I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep the the hand by him, but then I'll back up. Okay. Say like ten feet. You back up ten feet, and you're. 
I don't want to be too close to the woods. You're roughly adjacent because you were at the back. Yeah, I was. You're adjacent to where um, Alzina is on the ground, not breathing, covered in frost. Okay. She looks like half frozen. Okay. All right, Cor. All right. Um, You're on. You made it all the way. I'm on the porch. To the porch. Yeah. It didn't do me any. Peg way. has no head. Yeah. It is gone. And There's that... a big splatter of blood. Beside him is a halfling, who has had his neck kit cut from ear to ear. So he's real dead. He's dead. Yeah, I'm gonna. Dead, dead, dead how close is the Minotaur skeleton to Allie, for example? That's a very for good example. For example. <laughs> for example. Probably <laughs> asking if for you guys are pretty yeah. much coming out the the house yeah. and two by two is the, the way I was seeing it. Um, and she would be. I would say she's thirty feet away. Okay, so I'm going to move over to her. I'm going to cast at level 2, because that might be the only spell slot I have left. Make me perception one. as you get ready to move. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, it's a 19. Okay, do you hear a painful wheezing and grunting from inside the cabin? Yeah. Hmm. Alright, I'm... St- Still gonna move to Alley, but I'm gonna come okay. back to that. Um, so I'll move over to Alley, cast Kirun's at level two. So that is two d eight. Not the best. Eleven. Should be plus five. Sixteen. Oh, oh yeah! Oh. Thank you. Uh-huh. Boom. That's the crow fly overhead. Thank you. And that is all my movement, and I have no more spells. So we're fine, guys. Yeah, dude, nothing. There's no problems at all. Yeah, don't worry about it. <clears throat> Doing great. So that'd be my turn. Okay. Ali, you are now... <gasps> yeah. Um, <laughs> roll me a wisdom saving throw. Oh, God damn it. Oh, so much. Madness. And were I you at zero? You were at one, weren't you? I was you? at one, yeah. Madness. Madness. I call it madness. Uh, that would be a three because okay. I rolled like garbage. You are. Uh, you have a level of exhaustion right now. Okay. You get up and you literally like, you chug down this potion which warms, but almost like you're spitting out this bit of cold breath. Um, when she breathes out. The air around gets cold again. Uh, make both of you can make me a perception check. Me? Yes, please. Natural twenty. So I'll take one of those blue cards. No. Sure nice. Nice. Thank you, sir. Nice. First one of the night. Very nice. Keep rolling those. I, I would love to. That's a four. Nice. Nice. I'm alive. Every time. Yeah. I'm not dead. <laughs> Yet. This is the best. Uh, I can't remember what Ralph, Ralph Wiggum. Would, yeah, I, was gonna say, I can't remember what Ralph says. But that's a very Ralph Wiggum kind of moment. Anyway. Um, I'm in danger. Yeah. <laughs> you look like you're like, you look over and you see for a second before she fully kind of comes all the way back her spiritual form had left her body oh, that's um, and you look over out of the corner of your eye and three wispy forms are crawling out of the hole all of the same color and um, intangible nature that you just witnessed Al again so for these three it's fine. have glazed over eyes they look really angry. nothing and their mouths Open far too wide. Oh, okay. mm. And where is uh, Roy? Uh, Roy is further back. Okay. She's kind of mid distance between where Ali is and where um, Magnar is. You're on one side of the hole, mm-hmm. she's over here on the other side.
Where are you? I'm out. I'm not like okay. so. No, I'm not dead. I'm at oh, I didn't zero. Yeah. Oh, so you don't make any So, no, I make no saving throws. <laughs> I'm just and unconscious, just basically. I know. I can't um, do a whole lot. Can I get to her? Yeah, you're you're just... You just have oh so much no, stuff. Don't, don't break it. You have a disadvantage on ability checks. That's it right now. Okay, perfect. Um, I am going to make my way to Roya, and I'm going to cast Cure Wounds. Okay, so Ooh. you move... And I'm going to get an attack opportunity on you. You don't see them until you actually don't see them at all. You just feel them touching you. Gross. Oh, <laughs> oh ew. I did not ask ew. for that. Sounds that, sounds weird. that sounds terrible. <laughs> Gross. You feel this incredibly cold touch that then feels like a grip upon you. I don't, First, it's I don't. one large hand. Like, I'm like a big person's hand, and then two tiny children's hands, oh, wow. and they seem to grab, a, try to grab a hold of you. Everything about this day sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, freeze frame, scratch record. You're probably wondering I'm, how I got into this. Mess. I'm glad you drove out here because you're going to die right 22 away. hit. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nope. All right. I'm the other two miss. 23. Okay. But when you run, you actually, when it does hit you, you see them. There is a man, and he's big. He's well built. We know, yeah. Strong looking, but his eyes are just non existent. His head is bashed in, and his mouth is. Wait, like gone or like. It's been. Looks like it's been crushed by a hammer. Oh, cool. <laughs> Oh, like his, his eyes. Yeah. And his mouth... <laughs> you like, did this! No. <laughs> his mouth is just completely dislodged. Okay. Um, like in a silent scream of agony. And then oh. beside him are two boys who look very similar to him. Um, and awesome. they look like they've been horrifically mutilated. Um, and they are also reaching out for you in this kind of pleading agony or like that they can just get a hold of you and your energy so they do five necrotic damage and your strength score is cut in half whoa holy crap oh, crap is strength i'm not is, hurt you know? is, <laughs> is, well i mean i'm hurt but you know strength that a major st- st- characteristic for you uh yep. no okay well <laughs> so, it's so, so happy about you. i mean you feel your life essence draining out of you. Cool. Great. That's your essence. That, bad, yeah. that sounds awesome. You're not getting that back. Nope. We had a... Roll <laughs> me, roll me a, um, a nature check. Nature And check. with advantage, please. There was a time where we had a scroll. If your arcana's <laughs> better... You are never gonna let it go! <laughs> if, you have, if you have arcana, you can roll that. If it's better, you can roll that instead. If I have Arcana as a train skill and it's a better score, you can it's not bad. It was just a really fun time. <laughs> Things were looking out for us. So 17? You have advantage. I Let's believe roll. in us. Okay. So roll twice, take the better number. We still have, there's still no whole matter of uh, Let's go with the original ball, that was garbage. These mm-hmm. are that the same the type yeah. of undead you faced in the basement. Great. Oh. Great for your time. Yeah. <laughs> that but I'm an abstract. The teeth so. basement? Teeth basement? Yeah, the teeth basement. Ooh. Taking those teeth, man. Fun. If you would have taken the teeth. Teeth basement. There were there rings be... in that bag of teeth. Yeah. What would the teeth do? The teeth there was might, be, it might be money for them. <laughs> you can chuck them out of one by one. The bag, you can give you them found teeth the as pay. Yeah, but I said grab uh, the bags. <laughs> okay. Cool. I'm weak. Okay, so you go through. They just got their tax opportunity. You get there. You make your way to Royal. Yeah. I am still going to cast. So your wounds. Heels are for ten. Okay. Total. Roya. I'll take it. Thank you. You are now. You are welcome. I'm up. Well, I'm on yeah. the ground. Woohoo! I'm on the ground. I gotta get up. You're conscious. I'm conscious. Nobody's dead. This is great. I like conscious. <laughs> you just jinxed us. Um. <laughs> okay. So, Allie's next to me. Yeah. Magnar's on that side Magnar. of me or that side of me? Magnar is back 10 feet and oh, towards where you came. Okay. 
And the bad guys, how close? He's coming out facing all of you out of the woods next to the building, to the to the cabin. Farmstead. Oh, like how far away? Probably 30 feet, we'll call it. We'll say he can get to you and oh. you can get to him. Oh, I don't want to get to him. Are you sure? Smart. I was thinking of pulling out my... Uh... Is it room key thingy? Oh, the weird. Or the weird. oh yeah, here I can. But I forgot to pull up what page it was on. Uh, let's see. Forgot to write the page number down. I got it here on D and D Beyond. Yeah. Oh, like there responsible you go. Hey. people. D and D Beyond. I don't play them Get digitally. Is it key room? Uh, you, just, you, just, you use an action oh, to speak the item's good. command word, and it transforms oh, into a weird. <laughs> I don't. Well, she answered that. One. As always, okay. we are using yeah. Sirenscape because it um, is masterful and gives you all <sighs> sorts of that. sound tools no, at your yeah. fingertips. I got it in my extra. So go search them out. There are well this one produces a specific kind. The yeah, cost. it's galvanized. So it's is it? yep, twenty-two hit points. There we go. Speed thirty feet. Armor class twelve. Which one is it? Galvanize. Okay. Super weird. Yeah, yeah. Search <laughs> I didn't realize it existed until Magnar used it. It should have a link. But we agreed that only one of us could use it at a time, right? Like we could have an army of that. weirds. Just double yeah, our, our there's only, you can only use one at a time. Yeah. Well, no one else has one up, right? No, nope. I don't think so. What, you, was, what was you guys name? Watching a video? Philip? No. Oh, it's like, I was Weird like, Philip. what is going on all of a sudden? <laughs> it was like a video break? Yeah, Philip is not out at the moment. Can he get smashed? He's got He's got work somewhere yeah. else. And if he gets he, blown up, he gets blown up. He's got to take a nap? No, it's he's really, just gone. really hurts everybody if he gets blown up. Oh. Yeah, yeah I suppose he's made of ice. Oh, yeah, Ice wow. and lightning. Death burst. That <laughs> yep. Sounds bad. It's not, it's not ideal. It's not. It doesn't sound as bad as this music. Uh, that's getting queued up. Sounds real terrible. Who's fighting with swords? <laughs> not me. It's the upstairs you neighbors. Ready? I'm ready. You ready? So, yeah. So, I'm gonna send the weird out to attack the... Do we know what it is? I guess I I just know that there's a bad thing out there. You see a flash of lightning. It is a minotaur skeleton. Okay, um, he's gonna attack it with a fifteen. Um, yes, that hits. For seven bludgeoning and fearsome, fearsome beast. Okay, hold on. What's this? Hit 5, 1d6 plus 2 bludgeoning damage plus 5, 2d4 lightning. Well, 1d6, add 2, then do 2d4 Yeah, what's the 5 then? That's, That's the, the average. average. Oh, the average? Oh, okay. So, 4 lightning. You hate that. Remember, you've told me that before. Yeah, I know. This time it would have worked in that favor, but did, do you get to take the average even after you roll, or do you have to choose one for the other? Okay. So... Seven bludgeoning and four lightning damage. Okay. Um, if the target is a creature, it must succeed on a DC 13 con save throw or lose the ability to use reactions until the start of the weird's next turn. I rolled an 18, so I'm fine. Oh, darn it. He's still there. So. Um, or roll me. <laughs> trying to get something between me and throw. it. <laughs> me? I'm not dead. It's not for you. <laughs> oh, you're rolling for Alzina. Six. That's one failure for Alzina. Oh no. Top of the pot, Boulder. Where did he go? Yeah, I think I got skipped. Did... Yeah, we went from Magnar. Yeah. I am so sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh, so I'm standing over the pit, right? Yeah. With Boulder next to me because we kind of were jealous. Yeah. Whatever. So are those the, the 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 dad and the two kids? Are those? Roll the... perception to see them. Uh, da, 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 da. 
Sorry, I should have had this pulled up. And then attack them so they don't pay attention to me. Maybe. We'll see, we'll see. there's also the giant minotaur thing. <laughs> uh, so I got an 11. An 11. Uh, you think you see something. Okay. And then these guys down in the pit, or are they like climbing out of it? They're just kind of floating in that general vicinity. Floating? Uh-oh. Um, yeah, how, exactly. And how far away is the... Um, Minotaur? 30 feet. 30 feet away from us. Okay, I want to use my bonus action to um, mark it with Hunter's Mark, which is a spell, and uh, you choose a creature you can see within range and miss it, you mark it as your quarry. It's 90 foot range. Until the spell ends, you deal it with one an extra 1d6 damage to the target whenever you hit it with a weapon attack. And you have advantage in any wisdom, uh, or sorry, perception or survival checks you make to find it. The target drops to zero hit points before the spell ends. You can use a bonus action on a subsequent turn of yours to mark a new creature. So I'm going to mark the Minotaur okay. with my Hunter's Mark, and then I'm going to shoot at it with my uh, longbow. Uh, so I have a... Good. My fucking D and D just crashed. I have a plus eight, I believe. What? Dude, I'm all for these like things, but man, it, I just want a skeleton fight, guys. This one, this one's excessively like ooh, out Very there compared to the one we've done. Yeah, I just like had a minor meltdown. Just one second, sorry. Uh, So plus eight, so I got a sixteen. That is. Uh, six damage. Okay. What kind of damage? Uh, um, it is piercing. Piercing. That was longbow. Okay. Interesting. Um, and then I try to do one d six extra. Uh, for six. So twelve total. <laughs> Back to the top of the pot, Balder, you're up. Uh, great. Uh, and Balder is going to see the Minotaur skeleton. He's going to say, and that's what I'm talking about. And then he <laughs> runs. <laughs> he just charges it. Real excited about this, huh? Real excited about it. Natural 20. Yay! Ooh, like a card. Are you attacking? Do oh, we can use the, do you want the big one. Yeah. Take we'll him use. down. Uh. Bludgeoning. Is that the third one? Is that bludgeoning? Uh, it's the one with the hammer. Yeah, that's the, uh, maximum double damage. Oh, shit. Nice. Yay! So, Good card. Uh, so, it's an undead, correct? <laughs> that is... So, um, max damage is 28. Doubled. Doubled is 56. Six. And uh, answer me this. Uh, does it have this Batman? Does it have less than twenty five hit points? It does. Then, now, it, then yeah. it needs to make a saving throw. Do you see fifteen? Does not make it. Uh, it nice. is dead. It explodes. Yep. Wow, well, you, you well, talk well. about like the best two timed crits <laughs> in some That time is amazing. In yeah. I was like, this could be a really good fight. And you guys were like, is it? <laughs> well, I'm sorry, what? Is it? I mean, <laughs> some people are really knocking it out of the park. Some of some of us need, need a little time to get our shit together. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I did just literally knock the skeleton out of the park. Oh, yeah, you, you did. did. You, you did. did run, so I get three attacks of opportunity, by the way. Okay. Oh, no. Don't lose your strength. You will still um, 15. Nope. 14. Nope. 19. Oh, uh, yeah. That last one hit. Oof. For four and half your strength is gone. Jeez. Well, that uh, that wouldn't have affected your crit, so. Right. A crit is a crit is a crit. A crit is a crit, yeah. That's what I always It was say. max double damage, so, yeah. Um. Cool. And then, so. Let's see. Uh, so, what is that? So, there's three weird spirits. That are now thirty feet away from me. Mm -hmm. uh, 
you felt them pull on you, but you were so like you could feel the call of the hammer of your maw. Yeah. Like just whispering sweet nothings into your oh, ear. I was listening to sweet nothings. Yeah. And you come <laughs> running in and the Minotaur bears down with with its uh I believe it has like a great axe. Yeah, great axe. And it begins its slow descent of a swing. And you recognize if it hits you, it's going to cleave you in half. So you turn the grip of your hands, and you bring your maul all the way up, and you crush it through its thigh, and it goes all the way up through the middle of the minotaur, crushing every bone as it hits until you literally hit the jaw and break off one of the horns, and it falls into a pile of bones. So, yeah. all, all you really see... It too is the first time you see pieces of the hip bone just flying off into the distance of night, <laughs> into the forest. The gleam in the sky, yeah. far away. lightning catching it. Uh, all right. And then you hear a tiny voice say, "Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what? Like look around? Do I see anything?" When the lightning strikes, you see a tiny figure off in the woods, like looking like it's trying to hide. All right. About the size of a human child. Uh, all right. I will um, do the uh, do the spirits look like they're interested in pursuing me at the moment? Or? Oh, they're in a target rich environment, so they so, you know, maybe not. No. <laughs> uh, then uh, it's I will, me. I'm the target rich. I will. I will call that a turn. All right. So. We're going to do this in the most diplomatic way possible because they can get each and every one of you. Um, it's all about me. <laughs> that's canonical. One, two, three, that's a challenge. Um, right? I'm surprised you didn't get multiple oh numbers. Oh. Right? <laughs> Not currently. Not currently? Okay. One on Warrior. One on Silverback. Uh, one on Nate. Ha! Not, not that one. Ha! <laughs> 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 Just miss you, dude. I don't. I don't I know. Called that shot. Oh, it's a miss on Warrior. Yeah, it is. Oh, thank you. Nineteen. Oh no! Don't roll that on me. Nineteen damage. No, not no, to not attack. To attack. Oh, I was gonna say, holy shit. Is, is your AC 19? Yeah, no, no, no. No, no. It, it hits me. Okay. For two necrotic, and you lose half your strength. Okay, good thing I'm a dexterity class. Bring it. They don't. Oh, what do you think now? Yes. Alright, excellent. <laughs> Suck it, ghost kid. <laughs> Whoa. Condition. He hates Phantom Space Man. <laughs> was that a child attacking me? Of course it was. Uh, uh, Maybe a perception check, Nate. Alright. Not as great. Uh, 13. Peg the Headless. Mm -hmm. His spirit is starting to crawl out of its body. No oh, crap. As is the Halfling. Well, that's not good. Guys, we could literally just leave. Can we? Uh, yeah. No, we kind of need to get yeah. in the house and find that lady and get the thing for her. Oh, she's we said we'd is... bring the bones back. If she does, oh, I said that. Yeah, you, but, uh, you specifically were like, said we that. need to get these bones However, back for this guy. Does that does that then mean we have to stay here and die? No. Yes. Yeah. I'm not. Torin. I think he'll understand. Yeah. I mean, right. we can come. From, well, come back two later, of you have fought these before. Which so you know that they, yeah. Oh. Not a party. Yeah, you just need we to just hit have him. to hit him. Yeah. We just gotta hit him. It's fine. Smack him. It's all fine here. It's all fine. It's great. It's okay. It's We're great. It's We're fine. It's great. It's probably fine. It's probably it's fine. fine. You know? I know that was my. I, yeah, yeah, you, Magnar, you're up. Oh yeah. All right. Well, I was gonna run away, but I won't yet. Where are the ones <laughs> in, the, in the entryway? Um, are the ones in the entryway like up right now? Yeah, you can hit them. You need to move four ten feet, but yeah. Um, so if it's five feet wide, would it hit both of them or just the one? Um, just one. Fuck. 
They're not occupying the same square. They could or be. you could spend this turn using making a medicine check to stabilize. No. <laughs> um, I'm gonna gonna no, shoot. Just no. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot uh, my ice knife at uh, one Kay. of them on the porch. Kay. Hag the headless. Is that who it is? And there's somebody right next to him, right? A halfling. Right? Mm-hmm. Is that the case? Okay. So, ice knife. Um. Here we go. Luck. Whatever that is. Where are you? There you are. Fuck me. <laughs> It's not going well. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Goes that inspiration. Pulling out all the stuff. God damn it. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, well, I also was rolling a d12. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> that still counts, right? Oh, God. <laughs> no. Roll d20. Can he, like, take so his luckies his and all luck that, and his inspiration and whatnot back? I was rolling yeah. 12 the whole time like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man! Are you a newbie? I'm just kidding. Oh my god. Um, Good one. What do you say about an 18? That is. Yeah, that's nice. way better when you use the right dice. Uh, you can get a lot higher that way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so that is going to be 1d10 worth of damage. Plus, it's going to explode. So, so 1d10. This is going to be 1d10 to him, and they also have to make a dexterity saving throw. Um, 15, and the other one is rolled out. Alright, yeah, then one one of them makes it. Yeah. So then they'll only take half of the the cold damage. Oh no, they they don't take any of they succeed. So it's nine. Nine. Okay. It's nine for the initial and then three D six. And then twelve cold damage for the explosion of the knife. Cause it shoots, hits, and then explodes. So I shot at Heg for nine. Uh, it's it's pier- it's magical piercing, right? Yep, correct. Okay, he would be expired then at that point. Okay, and then it explodes for twelve. Um, yes. that's just cold, right? Uh, yes. Okay, the half one's still there. Okay, gotcha. Yep, that's all I can do. That's it. Okay, so there are four of these spirits still? There's, yeah, now there's still four. Okay. Stuck with us through um, apparently some minor minute minor internet meltdown. We're fine. Yeah, so... we're all fine here. Thank you. We're fine. It's all I'm fine. Doing great. How are you? <laughs> Thank you. So I was about to roll an attack. You were. So uh, I get a twenty-one to hit. That hits. Okay, and then um, another six damage. Okay. Uh, what kind of damage is it? Piercing. Is it magical? It's not. It's just a regular old arrow. Okay. Yeah, that's a bummer. That's good. Cut it. Yeah, well, we'll save you. Never know until you try, right? That's true. It seems to do something, but the arrow passes through the insubstantial form. But it appears to cause some type of shift in its eyes, some type of recognized pain, physical pain. Um, as opposed to this eternal torment it's, it's going through. That's oh, that cool. jerk who killed us four minutes ago. 
<laughs> you also feel like you've lost an hour. <laughs> yeah. yeah like, and you're like, oh man. <laughs> Shit. Well, you know. Corey, you're up. Alright, so there's a small ghost child in front of me. There is. All I right. just want you to hug him. Well, I'm gonna <laughs> smack it. Chop <laughs> director services on you. Then. Don't. That's that's um, it's a ghost. They, we they don't, don't condone uh, that here. No. It's a ghost. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Hashtag kill that ghost. Yeah. Hashtag kill that. Hey, okay, fair enough. I'm a big advocate for ghost smacking. You know. All right. So shocking grass. Smacking makes you feel good. Is that what you're trying to say? Wow. Well, it's a ghost. Um, yeah. That's kind of ghost, oh, that was ghost really smackers. Cool, it was. That's completely uh, not copyrighted. Yeah, they, <laughs> they were like guys in blue jumpsuits. Yeah. Instead of brown. Yeah. Twenty six. <laughs> Twenty six hits. Excellent. So that is seven. Um, no, see what damage? Ray Parker Jr. did was did it did it did it. And what I did was do 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 do. They're they're so. in a van instead of a station wagon. <laughs> yeah. Ghost. I'm sorry. What did you die off? Well, seven first. lightning damage. Seven lightning. Okay. Yeah. Did we get all squirrel in here? That happened. It was oh, shocking. Yeah, a sorry. Bit. Does the child disappear? No, it does not. Well, that's unfortunate because I don't know what I'm gonna I have to run away. Now. Fires right through him, and again, you you see like this moment where it appears to almost pull apart, mm-hmm. and has its its face, which is already contorted in agony and torment. It, it, it's like the recognition of the same pain that it suffered before death. Um, but then the lightning passes through it the rest of the way, and it turns its baleful glaze complete gaze that glaze. Although baleful glaze mm, on a donut sounds really good. Yum. It does. Spooky. It's baleful gaze <laughs> directly upon you. Baleful glaze. <laughs> it tastes like despair. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. That's it's unfortunate. Long, it's been uh, a long day. I really did want it to die. Because I'm going to run away now and I'm not disengaging. So it gets yep. to attack me. Oh no. If that hits you, you lose that turn. Oh, oh no. That's unfortunate. Oh, no. oh, actually. Yeah. There you go. I saying, otherwise, I got, I got that. Gets another one. If you crit again, I'm just going to die. God. That's all there is to it. Just hide in the table. Did, did, you, you? did you crit again? No, but I, I've got a 19. <laughs> Right, this well. turns a hit into a miss. Does it? Oh! Yeah. Nice! And nice! That, that's teamwork. Alright, so Woo-hoo. I'm going to... Can't say I'd ever help the team. <laughs> that's true. Although the second part is pretty boss. Yeah, but I'm not worried. <laughs> well, Alright. What was the second part? <laughs> turn a regular hit into a critical hit? No, it's oh. turned a critical hit into a regular oh. hit. Oh, wow. So, Alright, so I'm going to run basically up to the door of the house where the halfling is still standing. I can't... I assume I don't have enough speed. Or yeah, you can get right just, Okay, I'll do that. In so, the house, he'll get an attack for opportunity. Uh, yeah, let's get dangerous. Oh, boy. We're just getting reckless now. now. I, I know we are. That's a 20 to hit. All right, it hits me. You take three damage and you lose half your strength. Okay. Did you already lose half your strength? No, I did not. Oh. Um, Good thing. Uh, this is three of us who've lost half of our strength at this point. Yeah. Not me, though. Is I that, got a minus is that two. half rounded up or down? So that's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's a good question. Come on now. All right, so I am at six strength. <laughs> you gotta ask. You already know. <laughs> that's just hoping just to catch you off right guard there. one of these times while you're distracted. What is that minus? Uh, minus two. two. Right. Um. Are you gonna shut the door behind you, Nate? Yes, please. All right. It's a ghost, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> it makes, it makes me feel no, better. The sure, illusion sure. of now, safety. <laughs> I don't, do I see anything in the house? You do. Um, furniture's turned over. Okay. Maybe a perception check really quick. Because I, I heard the, the moans of pain. Uh, it's 18. There's a fire in the hearth. Okay. It's going. It's a little almost out of control. Um, table's turned over. The you, one window in the house is open, and the curtains are ripped. Um, lying oh, underneath like some chairs is a female body. The clothes are torn, rel- you're torn relatively poorly. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, they're they're in pretty much in rags. Um, there are five cups all spilt on the ground, and a. Like a stopper gourd, all spilt on the ground. Um, it smells not good. 
um, and um, you can see this form. Both of its hands are severely broken. Does it look alive? If it is, it's in real bad shape. Okay. Because I did hear moaning yep. from outside the house. All right. And I don't have any more movement, so I can't okay. make it here. I'll leave you how far am I from Big Ugly and his two little idiot children? They're spread out now. So They're you can, spread out you now? can pick one and go after it. Okay. I'm going to go after the, the, the one of the kids that's closest to me. <laughs> the one. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Pull so, up my rapier. No more wire hangers! Oh, one, um, oh wow. Oh, one, wow. Uh, one of the kids is taking damage, right? Yeah. yeah. I attacked one, yeah. I slapped it. Would that one be closest to me? The one that kids you can get to. Yeah, it's kind of I'll go to that. I'll go after that. You one. guys just manage to stay pretty equidistant. Ghost. Go, 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 ghost. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll go after that one. Yep. Um, and she's gonna try and use a rapier because okay. that's the only thing that worked last time. I'm probably gonna whiff it because he dice hates me today. Oh yeah, no. You need a present. No. I need to bash one of these with like a ball peen hammer in front of the rest of them. Like, an example of it. You're you're just like on the, on the floor of the garage. <laughs> now like, let this be a lesson to you. <laughs> Sledgehammer. This is what happens when you don't behave. Oh, that's good. That's a little better. And from now on, that's every time they fail me, I'll break that's another like one. Twelve. Well, thirteen with my. Thirteen would hit. Yeah. That's thirteen all hits. Oh. Oh. Well, you've got to have a better than that with your rapier because you'd have your dex, your proficiency. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, then it's a yeah, 14. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Um, well, if it's a yeah. versatile weapon, weapon, then you get dex or strength. Oh, uh, okay. And then your proficiency, which would be two. And I'm seven. So, yeah. Right, cool. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. going, rapier. rapier. Like, I love it. D8. Where's my D8? Where are you? Four total. Yep. So you get your string uh, modifier in there as well. But you have a minus to your string. But I have. I was gonna say there's um, no, but there's no assist there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Then it would just be yeah. Even you would still hit it with your proficiency bonus. So I'm just trying to do math, man. I know. It's yeah. Sick. Okay. No. So it's still there, but it doesn't look very. Like, when you stabbed through it this time, when you pulled out, like there was something more substantial to it, and it kind of groans in this very sad kind of weeping child group don't it listen echoes to it. and oh, then no, it looks up she don't feel bad then it looks up at you and just with just cold deadness and leans at you stumbling Roya you're up I'm gonna send my weird to the closest one okay. and attack it I'm all my dice at one time. He is nope. magic. Just give it back. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Mm -hmm. Start high. That's an eight. You got it. That's a hit. Team. Amazing. An eighteen. Roll she forgot the last half Since, of that word. He, he did an eight. Teen. That's what he did. I don't know. Is it worth the token? Probably not. I don't know. Do good. something awesome and get it back. Yeah. <sighs> okay. That's that's the key. If you Let's roll are it again. awesome enough. Let's just, roll it again. I, I played too reserved, I feel like. I, my okay, inspiration is precious. Hold on. I can't roll with one hand. A, I can't roll with one hand. It's a resource to be spent. Oh, that's right. not that much better. I've just rolled like about <laughs> an 11. So tonight, so I'm no. like, mm, I'm taking no chances. <laughs> you did a 13 or See, my thing is, I always yeah. really want to try and save it for like if I'm about to die. Oh, and that would have been like, great damage, too. Yeah, and he does have the damage, so. When he hits, it's all the way live. Or if somebody else is going to die. Um, I... Except for the lightning. Don't have anything else on... <laughs> unless the dogs are back. You got to call on them. Who left oh, the dogs out? No. Didn't they, didn't they get, didn't really they get, didn't they get I want to call my puppies. Big old scary beastie. Okay, they'll be there next round. So I'm assuming Get having back. him do something is my action? Uh, no. No. Yeah. Wait, I don't know. It doesn't it's, say. No. No. no, I think it's his no. own thing. That, yeah, it's it's own basically thing. is like your familiar, oh, or like your fair. companion. 
I mean, I have ten hit points, so I don't know. I'm a, I, I don't know if it's a good idea. Yeah, to get, get in close. the battle. Get yeah. in the battle. Go it's gonna be great. Sure. Let's do it. Is there Nothing another one near me? Ha- you haven't already. Yeah, you can get up. On that one involved me makes getting an opportunity attack on me. You're gonna get her. You can get up on one and actually um, close and have um, <laughs> um, flanking. Okay. So advantage. Get him. Stick him with the. I'm gonna sharp. swing at it with my two-handed greatsword. It's a good thing I rolled two of them, because one was a one. Yeah, one and one. The, the other one was a damage. 16. That's a hit. Um, That's a roll bad. For 12 slashing. 12 slashing? Okay. It's really in bad shape. That's not a magic weapon, correct? It is not a magic weapon. It's still there. It doesn't look good. So you've got two that are very hurt. I should have used my lucky oh, yeah, and not right my token. Here. Darn it! I forgot I had lucky. Yep, yep. that's um um unless Allie's within touch distance. No, wait, do I have to touch for that? Yeah, I have to touch for that. All right. Um, I walked away. I walked away. Otherwise, in. I could give you more points. <laughs> Come on, baby. Never let Fail. Go. <laughs> Natural point. Yay! So, Attacker, or not. A- that's no, two successes. Saving, yeah. Two successes. One die. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm not Baldur. trying to worry about right. somebody else's life, you know. Um, you <laughs> so there's the uh, the, 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 the dad thing. and the kids are <laughs> they're the ones that are around, or which dad, kids, and uh, the halfling. All right, it got destroyed basically right as we came back. I am going to uh, ice knife attack <laughs> the. If I attack the dad, do is it? Am I going to go past anything that gives it? A... No. Okay. Then are they undead? You're able to move. Yeah, they're all undead. Great. You're able to kind of manipulate the battlefield now enough to. Cool. That's a, a 16 to okay. hit. All right. That is 46. Magical okay. weapon. Magical mm-hmm. weapon. Oh yeah. It's uh. So sorry. That's. Uh, so that is 11 magic bludgeoning damage. Dead. You you hit it, and you can feel the glee in your hammer as it splits into its ectoplasmic form and splatters across the ground before evaporating into a swirling mist that slowly gets pulled into the forest. Do the ghost children take emotional damage? <laughs> wow. No. <laughs> okay, no, but you can see this pained expression first is like this look of relief and then this pained expression as it gets pulled backwards into the mists that are in the wood um that feels bad all right and do i still hear the childlike sounds coming from the forest yeah okay uh if i look over there do i see anything you see a girl in I mean, percep- it's just perception check. A perception? Perception? Gosh, I cannot talk to her. <laughs> say this judicial. is real bad. Judicial. Judicial. Uh, judicial. Can't say that without some interest. 18. Um, you see a little girl okay. in a kind of torn up dress, patchwork torn up dress, kind of looking at you. She's got dirt on her face and her hands. Um, big scratch. Yeah. Um, her hand, she's just kind of like stunned. Cool. She's still looking at the thing on the ground and kind of shaking. Which thing on the ground? Uh, the remains of the, the Minotaur. Oh, okay. Uh, I will all kind of bend down and wave at the kid. And I'll just be like, you stay by. She like big doe-eyedly goes and squats back down behind like a um, stump of a tree. Alright, and then um, still got movement. Is there anything blocking the entrance to the house? <laughs> they slam the door, and there's a ghost going through it. Or a shroud, I should say. Never mind. Um, if I am more than... Let ghost bleed. <laughs> uh, if I'm more than 30 feet from the, any of the remaining ghosts, I'll get within 30 feet. You can get to within 30 feet of any of them. Oh, then I'll just stay put. So, I mean, you can reach them right now at any time. Yeah, I can't do anything with them, though. So, uh, you can give somebody else um, advantage. Oh, by flanking? Yeah, by flanking. 
like a child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? Uh, Flank that kid! The uh, one that's hurt or the one that's doing all right? Uh, I will anticipate... One's fine, one's hurt, and the half one's in well bad shape. I will anticipate that the uh, my uh, do-gooder uh, teammates will go after the hurt kid, so I will play <laughs> that kid. <laughs> sure. I like hurt and the hurt ones first. Yeah. All right. They're savage animals. Balder went, so it's the kid's turn. Oh, shit. Um, one goes through and goes after Nate. The half one does. I don't like that. Sixteen. Sixteen. It hits me. Oh no. Four damage. Half your strength again. What's your class? Half of half. Oh no. If it hits zero, you're dead. Oh, that's not. Yo, oh, what? <laughs> oh no! Zero? Yeah, you're perma dead, and you come back as undead. Well, that's not good at all. No, sure. Yikes! Three. 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 That, that was not. Not Nobody thing. knew that. <laughs> no one explained that. You shouldn't have explained that. You should have just kept that secret. <laughs> I know. Yeah, until I died. But now, now we're in, now oh, we're in the real God. stakes. So. Oh no. Um. So yeah. Somebody come and murder this athlete. All right. Well, you're in a house. My arrows are Alone. ineffective. Yeah, all right. The it's child that's in pretty good shape. Anything I can do right now. Um. You two are together uh, on. Um, um, oh, you know, that's cool. You two are. No. It's, it's one I'm with on Nate. The, I'm on the weak kid. Which you one? guys are together, and you guys Which are together. Which one is the yeah. weird on? I'm sorry, what? The weird went to go attack one of them. Which one is that one on? Yeah, that one. Um, he, it's on the one with Ali. Or, excuse me, on the one with, with Silverback. You two are together. Me about. or the weird? Me? I went attack two. Okay. So I'll make sure. Because if it attacks. If it attacks him, then we get a tech pop shooting, that's why I was wondering. Alright, so then there's three of you there. So one, three, four, five, six. One, two, I'm sorry. So it's gonna go after the weird. <laughs> okay. And it's gonna hit armor class 19. Yep. For, for six necrotic and it loses half its strength. Oh, it didn't blow up on that. Not yet. Alright, and then Either Ali or Balder. It's gonna be on Ali. Yes. Yay! Oh, <laughs> so it reaches you just like no. Nope. It doesn't resist. It's <laughs> so a big bag of nope. nope How about puss. some nope? Nope to puss. So nope, 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 do nope, we get nope, to nope, attack nope. it as a It was in your threat range, so yeah, and um it attacked Ali, so you'll have an attack So we can attack of opportunities on it. Yeah, get it. Uh, yeah, that's a uh, 20. Also get. a 20. Not a natural 20. Ooh. I got a nat 20. 20. Oh, dirty 20. Do you want oh. this one? Yes. Wait, why would you get an attack opportunity if it just attacks? Yeah, yeah you don't. That, oh, no. That's, no. A, that's Never sentinel. mind. It's moved, yeah. yeah that's that's sentinel. sentinel. Never yeah. mind. Take a, I mean, blue, take a blue card. You rolled a 20. <laughs> feel, feel good about yourself. Yeah, I get at least something out of this. <laughs> <laughs> the only 20 I'll roll all night. Yeah, that made me feel real bad to take that away from you. That's okay. Oh, no, I you're appreciate a, it. I will never forget on, that your generosity. Honor, 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 honor your <laughs> I might be thinking. I might be thinking of one of the, the yeah. princess things yeah. I took. Be one of those yeah. DM feels bad yeah. decks yeah. of cards. No. Um, no. So it. they went. So Magnar's up. Oh, uh, well, I'm gonna cast Chaos Bolt at uh, the old. One just went through the door, and there's so there's two out there. So I can't see the one went through the door. Ah, I just cast door. it at the door. It'll blow the door open, but you would know. it? It wouldn't hit the halfling. Probably not. But You'd have to roll real well. Well, if I roll two eights, or like if I roll the same number, it jumps to something else. Um, I'll tell you what, because it's a two hit, right? Yeah. yeah sure. Eighteen or better, I'll say you get it. It goes through the door and gets it. Nope. It's like an ace shot. Oh, yeah, baby. I was very happy with it. No way. I'll roll these here, too, with it. So, wait. Streamlining this process. We lost everybody. We lost I'm not coming back to that. Another one? No. That's just going to be a. Uh, fuck. It's a 17. Really? Ah, uh, uh, door blows up. Do I, I don't need to. Yeah, it was uh, 
I scored yours. Oh, but maybe one of them. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Nine damage on the door, so I assume it just. It was just a wooden door. It scares the shit out of. Corsa. Ah. <laughs> I was like. Coming. Wood splinters fly. You're not alone. Right. Uh, it's not my turn, Torin. Torin. Why am I. Okay, I need to move you more front and center. Sorry. It's okay. Uh, I don't even. I've been trying to think of what I want to do here because I don't have any magic. Of... Kill that kid. It's kill that kid. Shoot They're all in bad shape arrow. now. Okay. Um, the door just if you want to shoot an arrow, though, you're engaged. Yes, yeah, they were in melee so, range, yeah, so I need are. to. Do you and, okay, to... so I have retractable claws. Can I use one, can I use one hand? Like if I'm holding my bow with one hand, can I use the retractable claws? I'll let them go. Hand? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. That's cool. Are they magical claws? No, they're just they're just regular <laughs> regular claws. Yeah, well, I already ha- I already have one. Huh? We'll pass it along. Who wants, who wants it in sprint? Because I already have one. I mean, I'll take it. You technically, I shouldn't allow that to go on. But well, that's up to you. On. He's going to allow it to go on. Don't, don't <laughs> no, let him take it. I, I'm I, I love that name to me. Like, this is mine. I was passing it slowly just to make like just to make sure there was enough time to have me like to It was like, I will need this later. I can tell, tell you that. Okay, so I'm gonna, I guess I'll, I'll swipe at him with my, with my claws. Uh, but it's an eight. And I don't have any. We are an adventure. So it would be plus your... Group, guys. Uh, it's so your claw. Work together. Yeah, so it's minus two, so it's six. You have, do you have From half my strength? Oh shoot. Yeah. Well, you get your proficiency bonus. You get a plus two because you have. I'm sure you have simple melee weapons. Uh, I, it, it, it's it counts as an like a, a an unarmed attack. I think. So, it's just my hand. So. Yeah. So I don't get any bonuses for it. All right, it's a miss. Yep. That's all I got. Cool. Well, you get advantage because you're flanking, so you get to roll twice. Was that got, uh, a sixteen that time? Sixteen hits. Yay! You have to be so what did you? Uh, what what's what's your strength at right now? Uh, it's minus. It's at seven, so it'd be minus two. So that's a fourteen. Fourteen still hits. Okay, so I one d four. One d four minus two. Is that what that means? Yep. <laughs> wow. So I got a two. Now you guys all know how Digger feels when he uses his lance. <laughs> so nothing. I got a two minus two. Kay. Wow. You slapped the ghost. Sorry. Look at Doug's chat. Oh, Kill that nice. kid. Kill that kid. Yeah. It is strong. It's still there. It doesn't look very good. And it also, it's real weirded out that you slapped it. I tried to, I was trying to rake its face. With, like, kid the retractable claws, man. I've got like Wolverine Sorry, we'll, we'll talents. But five Kid of them slash. instead of just yeah. three. And Corner up. For like that long. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so I got like this halfling behind me. Swords. Yes. No door in between you and salvation. Right. Open window. <laughs> uh, body of a body person who. Of, of a person on the floor. Maybe bleeding out and dying. Uh, you could probably save him if he had spell slots. Yeah, if I only had spell slots. I'm not sorry. <laughs> I mean, I saved that other guy. Gotta be Moral of the story, good, right? kids. Save one person and let the other ones die. Wow. Pick um, and choose. It's the circle of life. I'm Deal with it. Happens. Happens. Ooh. The halfling. Okay. Move over to the person on the ground. Okay. Can, can I tell if they're still alive? Like three rounds. Makes me a medicine check. I'm mostly useless against these things, apparently. This ghost so. is just going to follow us for the rest of the game, like demanding two. Uh, does anyone have like, they're, candy? They're at uh, one hit point. Yeah. You right. got him to one hit point. I will uh, uh, use, use my remaining roll. potion. You give it a sweet roll, we'll go away. And then you give it a treat. Like, look. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, yourself, mate. Yeah, I, it's selfish. That's not gonna help my strength though. No, you're doomed. All you can upgrade. Okay, that's strength. your turn. Uh, that's 11, 17 health. Yeah, yeah. They got wow. back, right? The person on the ground, or yeah. was it to you? Person on the ground. Allie, you're up. Um, that little kid is still up, isn't it? Oh yeah. No. These are little kids. No. Little Rats gotta go. Get him. I'm done. I'm done. This is why I don't have children. It's me. <laughs> it's in character and out. Wow. No. <laughs> 18, the age of the kid will never live to see. Oh, oh, wow. oh. wow. He dark. said it, not me. Oh, I'm so sorry I'm dark in this domain. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
Well, just think about how oh, messed up yeah. you're going to be. Oh, hey, okay. who wants it? That would be a... I think I'm the only one who doesn't have one. Six uh, points of damage. Bounty. Yeah. Um, so bounty of inspiration. It dissipates. Like it. And its continence against changes from that enraged desperation to drain your energy to a very solemn and almost kind of shocked angelic face that then has pure terror Boy, as its form is swirled so and AF. pulled into the mists of the forest. That's for Caillou kids. Just saying. You know we're like breathing in kids right now. Oh. It's just like a death. <laughs> have, have, did, this is awful. Hunting in the sewers of Ravnica, if we really like true. This, this, we, we've this, probably this, breathed in things that are just as bad. Yeah. Anything left? It's better than worse. There than is a halfling in the in the, oh, and there's a halfling in the cabin, worse. and there is one kid outside. left <laughs> who's in real bad shape. Just let it go, you know. Just let it live to see can eighteen we, and undead years. Can we you know? negotiate? It's got to graduate from undead college. We don't negotiate with undead. I was saying, we haven't talked to it, have we? Well, I mean, it did try to just, like, attack us. It's your turn. What are we doing? I just had, was intrigued by this idea we haven't talked to it. Yeah, the reason would be on that. Makes sense. Okay, well... It... Typical necromancer, you know? I'm not a necromancer! <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Is there any info we need to know, though? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Not from the undead? Not from the undead, okay. I'm attacking. But you do you. I'm attacking. Are you attacking it, or is... Oh, no, I'm gonna have the elemental attack it. What's the weird? Weird. The we, it's weird. What's the weird thing? Phillip. The Galvin... Phillip. I was going to call that Paul. His is Philip. Mine's mine could it's be anything. It's the same weird, isn't it? No, we all have our own. It's a stone. Yeah, we all have yeah, our own. Yeah, we each humans. have one. That's why we can only have one. Out of, that's yeah. why you said one at a time. Mine's. Phillip. I haven't named not named mine apparently. Oh, well, better be good. good. Some, it's I know. awesome thought. I gotta think about it. Well, I had to come with my own spot. Don't 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 rush it. Didn't think about it ahead of time. D six and two D four. Okay. Oh, that's good. That's nineteen. You hit it. Woohoo! Or get him. Five bludgeoning and eight lightning. I rolled max with the lightning. Yeah. Oh, lightning doesn't matter with this thing. Oh, what well, a weird know. amount of damage. I know, correct. Well, but, ah. it, but you you destroy it, and the same thing happens. It it's, uh, gives you almost a peaceful look before being pulled painfully into the mists in the woods. Right. Um, the only thing that's left that is aggressive towards your party is the halfling ghost standing in the doorway, that's staring down man. core. Somebody murder that halfling, please. Well, so well, yeah. So that's the, that's that thing. I actually get a turn, and then do the dogs come back? Yeah, you call them last round. Yep. Oh yeah. Are they both there? Doggo. Where do they show up? Beside you. They're beside me. Yep. Adjacent square beside. So you me. have them attack the halfling. Doggo. Yeah. They could attack a halfling, right? They're gonna go bite. Sure. No, they they won't attack halfling. One They're each or full humanoids. One attack is for the whole for both or one each. One each. Oh, a nine and a twenty-two. Nine does not hit. <laughs> twenty-two does. Oh, well, then I rolled the mo the least I could do for two. Okay. Hey. Hey. hey! It tears its. It the shadow force tears the insubstantial ghost apart. The halfling looks at you as it's being mauled by these two dogs, these shadow dogs, and it looks just terrible. And you see this gurgling hole in its neck where it had been cut. Oh, I'm not paying it's attention to the halfling. Completely apart. I'm paying attention to the almost dead lady. I, I actually still I have an action. This. After all that, I still got an action. <laughs> Who's hurt real bad? There is a dying soldier. Uh, I'm not close the, to death, but I would take some lady. health. The guard lady, which she needs to be healed, healed, right? She yeah. needs to be stable. Okay, I yeah, can't. I can. I could probably stabilize her, but I can't heal her with my things. So you have to be conscious for it. Oh no! Um, because it's it's <laughs> like a morale make a, boost. Make a medicine check. That She's I can do. Too. The they need her. Yeah. Is this the one that we've all just ignored? Alzina. By, by we all, I mean me. This is your buddy with the axe throwing. Dirty twenty. Oh, oh that's who. Now. That's who I let go. Yeah, oh, Man, I'm a dick. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, "Wow, you really are terrible." 
Oh, that's what that's mean. Together. What mean? Oh, oh shit. No, dirty Woman means nothing. She failed her saving throw on Total Cold. She took 32 points of damage. Man, I thought somebody with so. such keen axe throwing skills would be tougher. Not against 30, Cold. 32 points. 32 hit points, points is a lot of hit points. That, that was what it took. That's what, it, hurts a lot. That's a lot what it took. That's what it took me down. How many hit points uh-huh. do you have? 34. Yeah. I have 32. <laughs> it took us both down. Lot, lots of folk. Tough so, for a village. So she's stabilized but <laughs> she not, not healed. Yeah. She's zero. Okay. Or no, she'd be one. She'd be one. Okay. Oh, if she's one, I can morale boost her then. I can tell her she's doing an amazing job. She's doing a great job. She just kids. needs to rest for a little bit, and so she'll be great. great. She and I'll now. give her. Roll me a wisdom save, please. Wisdom. I'll give her ten hit points. Okay. Ooh, Se- it's a seventeen. Whatever her modifier is. Okay. Um, roll me uh, a d ten, please. Oh, you can do that. Two. Okay. Dang it! I was hoping my. Clapping like usually yeah. <laughs> she rolls bar, over that's why. and vomits basically just chunks of ice and just stays kind of in the fetal position for a couple minutes Ew. just shaking Nobody tell her I didn't hear her. <laughs> she finally gets up her brown hair has a streak of white in it that's cool and she's also very shook up Who's going to give up the fighting life and become a rogue? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have an inspiration, Ha uh, ha. Uh, <laughs> um, so what do you want to do now that the... Are we out of initiative? You're out of initiative. So oh. there's a lot of kind of secondary things going on right now. I'm, I'm going to uh, bandage this lady. So in order to do them correctly and to give everything its time... Let's just use an initiative, stay in initiative for right now. All right. So, Balder, what would you like to do? Uh, Balder will uh, walk over to the uh, little girl, and he'll uh, he'll you know, kind of get down, get down, and just be like, "Hey, um, should be safe right now. Just why don't you follow me. We'll take you back home." Do you know my mommy? I, I don't. Don't. But, um... She said to run, so I ran. That, you did really good. That and was then, really good. And then she points at the thing, which kind of stands behind you. And you look down, make a perception check. Uh, Nineteen. Just got a tiny little knife. Knife. And she's like, and then that came after me. But I hit. You did really good. It didn't find you. That was very good. Now, I don't know what happened to my brothers and my father. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> but, <laughs> roll I gotta go do a check. thing. But Not hey, like you were in the hole of them. You did such a good job that I'm gonna I'm gonna give you something I found here. Put his hand behind his back and use his prestidigitation to make a flower. Here you go. Make me a. Um... Wow, it's gonna be difficult. <laughs> She's gonna eat it. What a dick. <laughs> just give Make me just it. a persuasion check at advantage. Uh, yeah. Uh, 21. She seems to kind of relax and she seems to start to be processing. You got. These people live on the frontier. You know, mom's sure. got a reputation. Don't talk to strangers. But she's probably seen some things even as a child. This is something else entirely. Um, and I, you get the impression that maybe she's starting to piece together that this did not go well. Well, hey, just now? When you're running for your life? <laughs> Her in-score sucks. Uh, <laughs> so ha- how about this? We'll make you a deal. You don't stab me with that knife. Oh, know. she's she goes. Oh, I, I would never. I, she she holds the flower out and she like puts the knife in her little boot. Cool. And uh, I'll give you a piggyback ride back to your house. She looks like <laughs> all surprised. So she needs help climbing up. Hey, 
You can hear. You make a dexterity check. <laughs> <laughs> Accidentally suplexer. You hear one of the hammers or one of the maul's heads in your head just whispering about how easily it would be to. If you're going to take three, might as well take four. Right, you're right. If you're going to take four, you might as well take the whole score. None left breathing to come a column for you and yours at a later time. I got you yours. You shouldn't be hungry anymore. And then just the Simmer softest down. laughter. What? <laughs> Kill all the kids. Thomas snickering. That's the children jazz. Magnar. Yeah, I'm gonna just hang out. So <laughs> <laughs> Alzina is on the ground in the fetal position. You're like you're standing a couple feet away. And you're just like. Mm. <laughs> 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 She's pretty messed up, but yeah. Well, like, can I help her up and help her towards the house? Yeah. Um, Sit her on the porch. Yeah, she's shook pretty bad. Like, you get the impression that if that I shake her more. You get the impression that she was pretty close to dying. Right. Um, and that coming back from that is, you've seen it with some of your compatriots. It's really, I mean, you've, you've seen and been through some things before, but here it seems to be ex- intensified. Um, and you're not sure she had ever been that close to death before. Come on, little lady. To the pure death. You've got more axes to throw in your future. You made it out of this one, you'll make it out of more. Sit it down on that. When she turns and looks up, one eye is white and the other eye is her normal eye color blue. So she just has this just confused look on her face. Like, but she kind of nods and just tries to get into the cabin. I like sit her on the porch. Like I don't bring her all the way in yet. She's trying to get inside. Like she's so, just. I guess. I yeah. She just, in a real soft voice, basically says to you, "It won't be safe for long after all that noise." We were fighting ghosts, so the door wasn't really doing much. For okay, then I yeah, I bring I bring her inside and set her down and prepare for a for, to take a break so I can try to get some spells back. Okay. Torn. Um. Can I, first of all, can I get any of my arrows back? Um, you can roll a dice. You have a sixty percent chance, in my opinion, to find one. It's dark out, so we'll Indeed. lower it to fifty. Okay, so I shot two, two, two. So I got a twenty on one. Well, you, well, fifty percent chance to get Tommy high low. What? Fifty percent chance high low. Oh. Yeah. Choose now, then roll again. Uh, Do you want to be higher than 50 or lower than 50? I'll go higher than 50. Oh, yeah, we roll then. Nine. Okay, roll again for a second. And four. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you start, you kind of look around. You make me a perception check, please. Oh, the other thing I was going to ask is Do I hear, is there any sign of that voice that was speaking to me? Last time, mm-hmm. uh, not this part of forest. Fourteen, got a sixteen. <clears throat> you are being watched, though. Hmm. There's something out in the woods. Can I get a sense of like how far away it is, or is it um like a what is the word? Is it like a celestial or a fey or? A aberration or anything like that that I have <clears throat> I'm trying to find it I have favorite enemy aberrations but I also have uh, primeval awareness so I can sense aberrations, celestials, dragons, elementals, fey, fiends or undead within one mile none of those things okay. so you Recognize though that as a hunter, there are other hunters mm-hmm. watching you. And I will make the 
party aware that there are eyes on us. The rain picks up a little bit. Right. You're kind of on the tree edge line. You see there's enough wood. You could pull it in and fashion a crude door. Mm-hmm. Like a big log. Kind of well, there's there's just enough plank wood that's been split and cut into planks. Okay. That you you could do it pretty easily. You've done enough well, work. Well, do we... But you're so strong right now. Do we <laughs> want to... Do we feel like we need to block the door, or do we want to get well, out of here as soon as we can? Yeah, you should block the door. Ma- Magnar did d- d- disintegrate it, basically. I, I feel like... Well, I mean, like, are we, are we, gonna, are we planning right on staying thing. here long enough for that's even going to matter? It is the middle of the night. Yeah, I don't think yeah, we should walk back in the middle of the night, so... Oh, yeah. And a lot I mean, of us okay. need to rest real bad. Yeah, so I'll, I'll yeah. call people's attention to it, people whose strengths are not... who have not been cursed. Um... Oh yeah, you're real. You're real tired, boy. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I, my strength is is not good. See, so, yeah, I'll just I'll pass that information along. We're being somebody's if somebody's watching us out oh, in the forest, great. and there's some wood here right. we can use to barricade Need the doorway. Hurt, Maybe I got the windows strength, too, if there's enough. Yeah. So those of you who are who are feeling your strength can go pick that. Put up and do it. I'm gonna sure. I'll, not, I'll, I'll, I'll sure. kind of keep an eye out for them. Uh, the weird is actually really good at carrying things and doing things it's supposed to be doing. It stays for three hours almost. That's good. Yeah, you can have the weird. We can it. tell it to do what it to do because it, yeah, it's it'll even be like if we want it to be, it can it will volunteer to be a science experiment. So, interesting. It can, um, weird science. Touch can be a bodyguard, ah, ah. can lift or carry things, ask as a test subject, or aid in any other way that its capabilities allow. Perfect. I mean, so it got some damage to its strength, but it's still... Um, pretty strong. It's still... He and I are... Well, it's a seven. Putting up the, putting up the barricade. I'll keep, keep her to look out for them. They're not bright and they're not charismatic. Materials. Corey, you're up. All right, so I'm going to bandage this lady up. Because you said she's her hands are messed up and she's still... Thing. When you heal someone, huh? does it regenerate injury? Um, yes. How would you know? I, I don't know. Isn't that always the case? I mean, I kind of assume you kind of like take stuff. Or does it together. like scar? I guess is the difference, right? Well, Here it scars. That depends on because with uh, Caro. She still has weird scars. Yeah. So, so I, I, I don't know, know what happened to this lady. Um, let's roll some percentiles. All right. Those are always good. It depends on who's rolling. Yeah. High low eight. Uh, we'll go low. Seventy-five uh, percent or lower. Thirty-one. Okay. And say if it's if it's above seventy-five percent, then it was not going to grow back. Um, her tongue grows back. It had been cut out. Oh, that's Yikes. great. So then that's a good thing. That's, that's awesome. She's got a tongue again. That's pretty rad. Her like, hands are still pretty messed up. All right, I'll kind of bandage that up. You want me to do like medicine check for that? Or... <laughs> Deadpool's hands. <laughs> Little baby hand. Uh, six, <laughs> 16. Um, yeah, it's... It's going to take a little bit, but, I mean, they're starting to repair. All right. Well, I'll say, well, I'm glad she has a tongue, because this would have been real weird if she didn't. <laughs> um, to the other side. All right. So I'll say, I assume you're <clears throat> Belinda Vind. She just glares at you. What do you want? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, she just got her tongue pierced. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, I will. Oh, my and my cousin. How bad! Is... <laughs> Unfortunately, I got some bad news on that front. I'm all right. Oh, I've got some I'm bad news. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm outside for this. Now, is the is the child in the house yet? No. Okay, I don't know about that. No. She just so, like hangs her head and starts to kind of softly weep. Tiny balls falling, so it's like. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> so, yeah. This sounds kind of funny. What was that? What was the other guy's name? The necromancer. Peg. Peg. 
Uh, it seems Heg did a did whatever magic he has on two of your children and your husband. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, time to poison that. Well, that's uh, and then wait, I'm gonna die. That, that makes sense. I'm just gonna kind of knock over the rest of the wine or whatever that was. Um, just so you no can see it. it like when it moves on the floor, like the liquid actually moves like a snake, and then starts to slip through the floorboards. Ooh, uh, don't yeah. drink the Kool Aid, man. Oh man. Now you can't drink well water either. It turns from, yeah, it turns from a red, like a very nice red wine, to a soft green, and you can smell it for the first time, this acrid, pungent smell. I can't fix that. I'm fine. I don't have a sense of smell. Okay. You don't have a sense of smell? Nope. How's that possible? <laughs> you don't. don't have one. Science. Not in, re- not in real life, not in the game. Also, I hate citrus. Yep. <laughs> All canon for Magna. <laughs> Is he dead? It's, oh, he's real dead. His head exploded. <clears throat> she looks... Where the body? It's outside. Uh, there was a spirit that raised up from him, but that's gone too. <laughs> she walks over. I'll help her up. And takes her a little bit with her hands. And she casts a spell of some type. And she reaches inside and pulls out his heart. She uses a, a um, basically like a, um, what would it be called? A fishmonger knife, like a thin flame knife. And mm-hmm. cuts around and reaches through a broken piece of the ribcage and pulls the heart out. And sets it over his stomach. And she cuts a piece off. And she eats it. Mm. All right, I'm just gonna ignore that. <laughs> and she starts to walk in the wet rain towards the edge where the mists are of the forest. Where are you going? She looks at you and she says. To make sure he never come back. Can I help you? She just kind of shrugs. Make me a perception check when you get to where the mists are. You see this woman walk out, and behind her, Cor is kind of walking slowly. 14. No, I'm sorry, not 14, 16. So it's a low fog. And the closer you get to where the forest is, there's an actual mist in the forest. And the closer you get to the mist, the more you see there's faces in the mist. But there's movement in the mist. And she reaches in with that bloody hand and pulls Heg spirit out. Her face covered from about the nose down and the gore of eating his heart. She kisses his forehead and it just burns. And he falls on the ground in a noiseless cry. And she pushes him with her foot back into the mist. And he stands out glowing momentarily, screaming silently. Do we have to worry about other spirits in that forest? Just casually part. Shrugs her shoulders, and then make me a perception check. Casual shrug. Casual shrug. Where's my um, my 80s new wave band? (laughs) 23. She stops and looks, and you can see what you assume is her husband and her two. You think they're probably 12 and 11 year old boys looking back at her. They were just having their stroke. They just kind of look like surprised. You know. And she just kind of holds her hand out to them, and they kind of hold her their hand out to her. And it's just that mist of just mist going around her hand. And then she just turns around coldly and walks away. Does her daughter see her in the forest? Um, I don't think. Have you gotten all the way around the house yet? I don't think. I don't know. I don't think so. Well, you let me know, did you? I mean, he was headed back toward the house. It's 
they likely would have crossed paths. Well, they were going in the other direction. So you were coming this way, they would have went going this way. Oh, I mean, he wouldn't have, like, chased after them. All right, we'll say no. Okay. So you're standing there. Ali, you're up. What an happy moment. Um. Oh, hey, come on, buddy. <laughs> it's called the Domains of Dread. Right. This is the Domain of Happy. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> domains of Happy Rainbows. Um, she's going to cast healing word on herself because that's a thing she can do. you want to do? Sit the hell down. Like go inside it, or stay she, outside? Oh, she's going inside. Okay. She's, she's not sitting up. You. So Magnar, Alzina, Ali are all inside. Torn is outside with the weird. Just keeping an eye on things. Um, Baldur's making his way towards the house from one end. Kor's making his from the other end. What is Roya doing? Um, she is going. I don't have enough. Mm. Story of my life. I know. I was thinking less of restoration would help the people who have strength issues, but I need to rest before I can do that. So she is going to have the weird and the dog stand guard outside. And then she's going to go inside and use some hit dice. <laughs> Back to the top. Great. Dope. Uh, on the way, so as they uh, approach the house, uh, Falder is going to sort of survey the scene. Uh, there's still like bodies and stuff around. Cool. Uh, there's a 10 foot hole, 10 by, 10 by 10 foot hole. I remember that hole. Um, <laughs> Uh, the best of visibility as he is approaching the house, he's just going to be like, pew, 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 press the digitation, pew, 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 just trying to make it look less horrific. Yeah. Um, he doesn't really know what the halfling's relationship with anyone was, but uh, so he'll um, he'll kind of like as they is there like a so is there there's like a porch. And the, that's where the bodies are, like, on the porch. That's where the torso and legs of Hagar, and that's where the halfling is. Uh, so, Balder, as, so, since he's eight, seven and a half feet tall, I assume that the kid is probably too high to see below the exactly roof. Exactly what's going on. So though. he will kind of, as he needs to get down there, so he'll sort of, like, duck in a way that makes her vision go avoid that. Upstairs. And then, yeah. And then uh, take her inside the house and uh, follow home. He says that. Um, um, everyone's kind of quiet. Alzina says she's, she's she went she went out there. Okay, so she's all she's all right. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, okay, uh, good talk. Uh, he, will, <laughs> he will put the uh, he'll put the the kid down, and just say, um, you know, hey, this this lady here, um, she looks like she needs a hug. Why don't you just wait here? And Rob should be back in a minute, and then he will uh, leave, and he will um, just put the bodies in the hole. Come man, I'm just over here babysitting. Okay. You're up. I contain multitudes. Yeah, I'm just short resting. Okay. I'm just trying to uh, ease her mind a little bit still. Uh, yeah, she's pretty shook up. You think she's going to need a rest. you got to remember she doesn't sleep a lot to begin with. Yeah. So, um, and to get... If you kind of have been fighting things that you can hit... And then something you didn't ever, you never got a chance to, it kind of surprised you. 
and you are dead in one shot. Not real. This is not real. Uh, boost your confidence as well as. I tell her fake stories about all these times that I died back in the day and uh, how it was. How make it was me always a, like that. Make me persuasion. Persuasion. Yeah. Mm, persuasion okay. still skill. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Sure is. I can't remember right now. They got they changed up some of the. Is. is that scene? Okay. It takes a little bit, but the more you're kind of like start to tell these stories and she you get the feeling that at first she's kind of skeptical but then she's kind of like kind of buying not buying in i guess is a poor choice of words but she's starting to listen and so she kind of looks a little less shaken and that time the trask just came through and wiped out my whole clan she's like i don't i have no idea what that is oh i will <laughs> show you one day with like a mirror image or something it's crazy crazy <laughs> <laughs> but I'm I'm short resting now. Okay. Well, yeah. I kind of assumed everyone was short resting. This yeah. Okay. What's Torn doing? Um. I guess I'm up on the porch since we've got the the weird, the weird which the is like a sort of an inanimate object, like kind of out on the edge of the woods, and that we're all. Damaged. No, he's closer to the house. Is he? Okay. Yep. Um, I don't want them that far out in case something okay. happens. I'll just yeah, I'll just sit down on the porch and Make keep an eye on him. Perception. And we'll keep looking around for those eyes that I. Uh, that is a eighteen. You see a bigger form push more towards the edge of the woods. Uh, Lit only by lightning occasionally. Um, oh. Its coat seems to be very black. Um, it's a large. So it's like lightning, like flickering around. Yeah. It's out. Okay. It's like a strobe lightning. Can. Um, we came for instead of like the earlier where there were a lot of strikes. Now there's just kind of strobe effect around. Um, you can see yellow eyes around where this thing is. But this thing stands out. It's bigger. And it's pushed all the way towards kind of the edge of the... Can I get line. a sense of its, like, silhouette? Like a shape? Um, like a ram walking on two feet. Oh, we know these guys. Yeah, we heard about them. They're great. Um, they're so nice. I'm going to call this, call attention to the people who are in the house that there's something coming towards us. It looks like it might be one of the... The herd. I do a sick kip up. <laughs> Did you hear that, dog? <laughs> okay, so like, and during all this, can I can I use a, a hit die to get some health back too? No, no, no you has to do that. Um, yeah, I'll just let everybody know that there's something moving towards us, and it might be a problem. Okay. Um, knock an arrow. Court. So, have I made it back to the house yet? You guys are walking back. You see. Bother pushing the dead into the bodies, into the hole. And she kind of stops and says, and finally you can see her just enunciating really hard. She says, thank you. And we've got a visitor inside. Pulls off of a pouch a handful of something and throws it over the pit. And the pit just kind of slowly closes with vegetable matter. Suck it whole. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you, so what, did, what did you say to her? So it's, you got someone waiting for you inside. <laughs> you can tell like she's not <laughs> grasping what that means. Um, I think your daughter's inside. She stops and then she kind of like very harshly kind of nods. Um, and then she's she, like, look, I never had a daughter. <laughs> she turns and looks like, and kind of nods her head towards <laughs> the woods. Over where Torn is watching. And then you too can see the shapes in the blackness. On the edge of the lo- tree line. Do they look like they're doing anything more than watching? Currently, no. It seems like they're almost kind of gauging what you're doing. Okay, 
I'll um, bother to walk over to where Tor is. Just... I think ever she kind of motions for everyone, just quietly says, "We should all just walk our way inside." Or that sounds not. Good. Yeah, he'll just okay. Yep, sounds good. If they're going to come for us, they're going to come. Fair enough. Inside. Okay. They'll have to walk past the weird and the dog to get it, dogs to get inside. Find them. Oddly enough, she doesn't seem that impressed with the weird and the dogs. Okay. Oh, <laughs> 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 so many cool tricks. She's fucking not a Doesn't give a shit. Well, <clears throat> Cor did see her do some messed up stuff, so. Okay. She's got some tricks. Yes, yeah, so we're inside. Okay, you head inside, Cor. What are you doing? Um, I would like to rest a lot. Okay. Is there anyone going to watch the outside? Or are you guys just gonna? Yeah, no. I, if there's like windows or oh, something, I'm, up. I'm keeping an eye on the. Okay, there you go. Yeah, I mean, we do like this. Yeah, any, like, Come on, baby. Yeah, looking, is the, looking through the window like this. Is the edge of the woods only on the front of the house? Does it go around the house? The woods goes all the way around the house. But where they're at, there is no window. There's a window to the back. So I'm just gonna, yeah. I'm gonna tell my dog to be to be like, I'm gonna give him a little uh, head pats. Just be like, hey, keep an eye out there. Let me know. Howl if you hear if you see anything coming. Howl if you Howl. hear me. Howl. Howl. <laughs> so much. And then I'm gonna have the weird ghost stand behind the house too. I want okay. one on each side. Uh, Baller will take first watch. He'll out on the patio. He's not. He's not. Too banged up. Okay. If we all go inside, maybe they'll forget we're there. She, she kind of did. You say out out loud? Well, like casually. <laughs> she says, "I think if they wanted a fight, they already would have picked one." But I think they uh, saw the pile of bones and decided to think better of it tonight. You're welcome. But I told you, I kill us all if they wanted to. <laughs> Uh, not, it's not guess. that I'm. She, as you say that, she says it's not that I'm not grateful. She's got. She's holding her daughter who's asleep, and she had given her a leaf off a plant, and she goes to sleep. <laughs> that is the exact opposite of sleep. And um, <laughs> not the kids. She says it's not that. Um, it's not that I'm not grateful. <laughs> you can see her. She's still trying to figure out how to use the tongue in her mouth. It's new. Um, she says. But travelers like you, this is the pro. This is part of the problem. This is why I don't live near people like. And she nods her head towards Alzina. It's because communities. This is where the horrible things happen. We had a pretty good thing going here. And now we don't have anything. Now I now I don't have anything. It's not our I, fault. I can't run this farm without my... She kind of stops for a second. She takes a deep breath. She says, I can't run my farm without uh, my husband. He's dead. My sons are dead. Was Heg part of your good thing? Because he no. was one person and did all this. He was a traveler. He came here to do business occasionally. He was leaving... To go to Lamordia. We had made an agreement to trade some items. And he decided he was just going to take them rather than trade for them. And when confronted by my husband, he realized the folly of making an idle threat. And they agreed to part on good terms and poisoned him. And then when they were dead, he raised them. He had my sons hold me to the ground while my husband cut my tongue out and broke my hands. I didn't dig a hole in the ground since he said he was being followed and that's why he couldn't delay any longer. Welcome. Well, it sounds like this happened without community, so maybe the community would have been helpful. Alzina ch chimes in. She says, well... There's a reason she doesn't live there. Why? What'd she do? 
just mess up, just be doing these spooky magic tricks and kill somebody like she wasn't supposed to. She just says I was accused of being a witch. You are. It's I not a bad talk. thing. I was a druid. I could talk to nature from a young age. My parents died. And I was left alone in a community. And someone of better repute than myself claimed that I had bewitched him and to string from his fidelity and I was cast out and someone could have saved me the priest of Lithander could have intervened and chose not to so the man who would become my husband the only good man in my opinion to have ever come out of that town stepped forward defended me, defended us on the way out of town, came back, took everything of his families and brought it here, and we rebuilt this abandoned farmhouse into a home. The only good person I've ever met, beyond, besides the children that we had together. So you, as you can see, my tolerance for human beings is low. Same. It's a good thing that most of us aren't human. She kind of laughs a little bit, kind of chuckles, <laughs> and she says, that is a fair assessment, because I haven't seen many people like you. Well, you win some, you lose some. And now you gotta regroup. I'm sure you're not here on your own accord. And while I'm sure you were here following Heg, most people don't come to me unless they have another reason. Oh yeah, somebody's sick. Yeah. So our original intention outside of Hag was to find some uh, of what they call Hag's kiss. She nods. She goes, pulls the curtain back. Make me perception checks. One, <laughs> three, dirty three. With One. The- Yep. Dude, oh, I put all oh. the ones right there, so then... Oh. I got a 19. three total. Also 19. Nothing for me, I'm sure. Uh, 20 one. Uh, 18. Yeah, 10. 15 to 20, yeah. you get kind of a look, and it looks like a hallway almost, and on each side of the hallway, floor to ceiling are just jars. No, it looks like like different roots and vials and poultices and different things. Just you you think that she has quite a bit of um, herbalist equipment here. Like she's been doing this quite some time. Twenty or above, this is pretty immaculate. Like this is enough here in that area. That's probably a ten foot by 10 foot area onto that cabin in the back um and it looks like it has some type of like skylight and it's oh. so like there's plants on the higher right. shelves um this would be something that you would see even in um ravnica it's that well put together oh. just for no but it's like someone did this with no money like this is impressive right so someone who's really either keenly in, in tune with nature um, and, and spends a lot of time on their craft, as well as has a firm understanding on how to make the most out of nothing. Impressive. Well, I think she's got what y'all need. We've been here for 14 years. It's a long time to build a life. Why did you need the Hag's Kiss? Uh, we needed it for arrow fish. She kind of looks stunned for a second. What would you need it for, Carol? She's she stops for a second. Thinks. I think the word I want to use is dainty. That, that's <laughs> the problem. She's been hurt, and it's not. How really. did she get hurt? 
She takes on a very almost matronly demeanor for a moment. Uh, unfortunately, uh, she was in Pikmin's Hollow when we met her. Oh, Jesus. No, I shouldn't say Jesus. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, God. I mean, just, it's a, we were attacked this is by a, a bunch This is of... going to be a long story, isn't it? She says, sit down. She goes and reaches into a cabinet. And she pulls out a bottle. Don't drink it. I mean, back. are you sure you want to drink that? Because weren't you just poisoned? That wasn't mine. Oh, this okay. is. I think so. She right. hands it to you first. I'll take a swig. Um, it's the sweetest berry wine you've ever tasted. It's not cloying, but it's it, it goes down very very smoothly and very and warm. It's very good. Pass it along. Yeah. Um, you get five hit points back. Cool. You feel kind of invigorated. Excellent. Do I get stronger? No. no you know that's gonna be. That's, <laughs> it's gonna need something. It, it would, but I am. a nice long rest, maybe. A scroll of greater restoration. <laughs> greater so, or lesser? Uh, remind me what lesser does because I think it might be greater. Le- I think lesser is a is lesser restoration. Yeah. yeah, the Isn't conditions. Like po- poisoned. Yeah, it's like conditions. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Conditions, conditions can be blinded, deafened, paralyzed, or poisoned. Okay, yeah. so not that. No, it's, not that. This is going to be weakened by stupid um, rates. Um, I think that was in there, right? The yeah. gene yes. spawn of a dragon <laughs> god. Favorite. So can I break the rules? No, damn it. <laughs> I, mean, I am a I am the asking. gene spawn of a dragon god. So. You know, might as well take that shot. Maybe she says, so you, are you just going to tell the whole story? Anyone else want to jump in? No, we yeah, tell I'll, how we were attacked by mm-hmm. Stitch Man. I'll tell the story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, yeah, let, me, let me get on to this. Pass me that bottle. We talked about the Stitch Man, how he ran out of town. Boris saved us. That's where... I'm talking about how good I am at throwing axes. Getting attacked by bricks. That's where Felton Biggs went after he was found that him, I did not cause his infidelity. He left for the Pikmin's Hollow. There's nothing there but swine. We yeah. found that out the hard way, unfortunately. We also did come back with Can't a giant pig. Yeah. <laughs> Very literally, the, yeah. The, the swine was the best part. <laughs> Boris. Oh. Yeah, that's He's, the one. He is doing well. Boris, it's okay. Strong as ever. You should leave in the morning. Is it late? I'm going to make sure that Carol is fine. A curse like that has nothing to sneeze at. Oh, and I do give her the clay pot that um, that guy's wife gave to me. She kind of looks at it for a long time. I think I slowed down the poison, didn't I? The bit. curse? A little bit, yeah. <coughs> she's she's Melina just got a little bit more time. Madness are still alive. Yeah. She kind of smiles and just says, "Well, at least we have something to eat." Excellent. So she warms it in the hearth, and you have this amazing stew again. Um, she says, "We should sleep." I don't think they intend to do anything. I think if they did, they would want to die. We die. We die. You know. And if we go back tomorrow, we help your friend, and then I take my daughter wherever she's going. Because there's nothing left for any of us here. Is there anything we can help you take when you Yeah, so how are you going to move that whole apothecary back there? I can't. Ooh, you got to move some of it. You can't give up all of that. Carry what we can. Anyone have a bag it's of holding? Not, it's not that I can't. I was just thinking that. It's not as if I can't begin I have again. the carrying capacity of a large creature. That's uh, about it. And some of it, of some of it took us years to go <laughs> and and take from the rundown. Well, I shouldn't talk about that. Can it's kind of quiet. Can we help her sort through her belongings to pick up the stuff that's most valuable? Kind of yeah. Like sort things. I get, yeah, I get recalled the weird to carry stuff in the morning. He's gone after three hours, but 
<laughs> how, long the, how long a walk is it? Is it longer than three hours? <laughs> it's about a half day. Oh, that's not going to work then. You're 40, 45 minutes away. And we just, just, I'll like it for all the way there. Shit, I'll call and put stuff down. Someone else will call theirs. They can pick it up and take it. We could just alternate weirds. Leapfrog it. Yeah. Like a relay, like a relay race, but with weirds. I'll help her carry a magic item. A weird relay. <laughs> you're going to conveniently kick help her. Well, hey, real quick, if you're getting rid of most of this stuff anyway, a um, few of us got attacked by the uh, spirits out there. Feeling about, I don't know, half as strong as I usually do. <laughs> um, anything in there that might be able to help out with that? Mm-hmm. Or help some of us feel better? I can help two of you. Cool. Um, so I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> For the deal, well, are you a melee person? Yeah. yeah. So you're going to need it. That's yeah. what I was saying. Yeah, you need it. I'm I'm, yeah, I'm, I guess I'm Dex. I mean, in a pinch, I'm pretty strong, but... Wow. But you hurt real bad, though. You yeah, got hit twice. I did. So. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah, he got hit twice, so maybe the yeah. two of you... Yeah. Okay, well, she that's fine. She uses two scrolls, casts it twice, you're back to where you were the strength. to use the scrolls! <laughs> oh, I'm... Do you say that at the end? Yeah! <laughs> she says... Well... She's like... How long does it take you to ch- transcribe a scroll, oh, though? It yeah. takes a little bit of time. It's like 20, it's something per hour. I don't have a book. The good news is I feel great. It's almost like she's thinking really hardly about this. Can I use some of that beverage to get some health back? Yeah. Well, we're going to long rest too, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm. But in case we can attack them overnight. Okay. Um. Okay. She looks at you and she says, "You want real magic?" Yeah, yeah, yep. I do real magic. That's one thing. I came here. We went to Edward Belknap's. Is that Belknap Fields? We went to the remains of his. Or some of those things. We were young and not very smart, and some say that's why my husband wasn't as smart as he had been before, as he was addled somewhat by what we saw and injuries he suffered there. He remained strong physically, but mentally he was never as sharp. There were things there. There were. Edward had. He had adventured at one point. He had a collection of items. He also. He led the rights. He kept the peace. He. Before the mist came and things went sour. He made sure that the black goat and the, its get got what was agreed upon. The altar was and always remains on the Belknap's land in the middle of the forest. And we went there and we took out of necessity. Do you think there's still things to take? I think anywhere where the dead still have unfinished business, there's something to be taken. And I think that the herd that walks in these woods Treat that place differently. It's the same. 
seems like there's a direct correlation there. It's as if you could see that because you're not from here. Mictree kind of looks at Alzina, who's asleep. As if they've never got it, they've never understood. You can't tell people things they don't want to hear. You can't tell them they're heroes or not what they appear to be. That's the reason that I think it's best if we think very hard about decisions like this. I wish to go find my friend Karo, and I wish to find passage. I'm, I'm assuming she's going to go back to New Prudence. And I'm assuming she can assist me in finding employment there. She walks over and starts to take the bags off of the halfling as well. Can I ask her about the voice that was speaking to me in the forest? She kind of looks back as she's taking his belt off and starting to rifle through all the maps and everything that he has on his person. She goes, oh, the the spirits of the forest call to you? She kind of turns and looks back at you. Uh, Briefly, I was helping work the fields. That's a, that hasn't happened in quite some time. What do you know about it? Well, when I talk to them, they generally are portents of ill or portents of good. There is no in between. They let me know when things are going to turn. They let us know when our fields would be fallow for a season so we could find other ways to feed ourselves but they also made sure we knew where the herd was they made sure that my children she kind of takes a long pause knew the boundaries of where we lived we respected the forest the forest treated us in kind Has it ever asked you to follow it? Or have any of them ever asked you to follow them, I should say? <clears throat> That's how we found Edward Belknap's home. So it's not common knowledge where this man's house is? It's not any longer. The force consumed it. <clears throat> Don't look at Balder, because he's the only person I told about this, and I'm kind of like fill everybody in on what happened when I was working in the fields. I was this voice, kind of like this sort of disembodied voice, trying to get my attention. And I, for safety's sake, not knowing, and the region being very unpredictable as far as like ghosts and spirits and the undead and things go. She I like kept my distance. watches you talk, and she like walks up, and she just kind of touches your scales, and she looks at you and says, I find it curious that something so fierce in appearance would be so cautious of everything. And she just kind of looks at She said, if I had your fierce continents, I wouldn't be afraid of anything. And everything should be afraid of me. Well, the place we came from was looks weren't the only thing that she was an appearance wasn't the only thing she that laughs you kind of a haggard laugh and she has to stop like coughing she starts to cough and then she spits some blood on the floor and kind of get, turns quieter as her child stirs and she says you're not there anymore <laughs> this is a dangerous That's, place uh, I adapt this is a very dangerous place and I like living well the forest has given you opportunity I would suggest you take it. And now that we've accomplished what we're doing here, there might be something to consider for tomorrow, or the following day, depending on when we're prepared. Yes, sir. I can take us to the, the spot. 
So she's got to leave anyways. I'll offer her to buy any healing things off of her. Like, I will give her gold. Ooh. Um, Help you on your journey. How much gold do you have? 82. All right. You pay her 30 gold. Oh. What am I getting in return, though? <laughs> You're getting a bandage. Three healing potions. What she basically mixes you three healing potions. Okay. Each does 2d4 plus 4. Okay. They're okay. I'm used to playing characters where we have, like, you know, d8s and that kind of stuff. It seems like a lot for 30 gold pieces. Or not a, not a lot for 30 gold pieces. It's my wife. Right? A... I, I just don't think it feels... Yeah, I think potions are expensive. Hey, you want to go shopping for a car later? I mean, this... this uh... I mean, like, I'll, I'll get you <laughs> a good... Should, should I call your dad? I'll get, I'll get you a good deal. But, I mean, 30, 30 seems kind of rich, but I'll pay it. Like, everything is... For all, everybody's pretty Lord desperate thoughts. here, it seems like. So, I don't know, scarcity of resources and all that seems like... I don't know. I love that you go from like, I will help you on your journey. Like, well, that's expensive. <laughs> well, I just, you know, like that. I'll help you on your, I, I will help you on your journey. You're not making me destitute. <laughs> that, no, that's, that's, that's like the equivalent of like, if you don't roll well, six hit points. That's not a lot of hit points back. No, uh, for right now. Yeah, yeah, anything is anything. For now is. I'll pay you ten for one of those. I'll pay mm. you ten gold for one of those potions. I'll take one. I don't have any way to heal myself. <laughs> she'll, she'll do it. So you like get more from her? She'll make, she'll, she, yeah, she I'll, made them. I got. A, I have a hundred gold, so I'll, I'll get three from her. Yeah. She'll pay me. She can make three. up to ten potions. Yeah, I'll buy Sandra three. Bought three. three. I'll buy three. Okay, I got a hundred gold, so I'll go down to. That's thirty. Yeah. So ten yeah. each, basically. So there's four left. Okay. I'll buy two. Okay, two left. And on seventy gold. I'm a walking healing potion. First. Mm. For a short amount just of not a, just not a walking strength stabilizer. Uh, no. Are you gonna you want the other two? Sure. Not today. Okay. I'll take them. Uh, not today, Satan. <laughs> not today, Satan. What is it? Two D four. Two D four plus four. Plus four. Is there anything else we can purchase to help you on your way? She throws you a map. I'll look at it. What does it map up? Um, it's a map of Derelith. Oh. So it's a not just a map of Derelith. It also shows where okay, that you are towards the north eastern border towards Falknovia. Um, and if you go west and skirt the northern border you can pass right by Pickman's Hollow and you can get to New Prudence. Oh yeah, because we I totally want to go to Pickman's Hollow. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, we can yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On I mean, New Prudence, there is a train station. In Pickman's Hollow, I got my environmental bonus, so I think that's probably <laughs> worth it. And if you want to go we further to the coast, we can, we can, we can, we can move, go uh, all the way to, um, oh no, it's going to skip me when I named that town. I think we want to deal with this herd problem first. Old herd? Yeah, I want to go to Do we? Belknap Fields. I, I, oh yeah. I mean, it sounds, oh, with, oh, when I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I want some other stuff. <laughs> with the, yeah, yeah, I would really the like. gang in tow, you know, might, it might be Maybe safe. Maybe we could find a, to, it's relatively scroll of greater restoration that true. I could inscribe in my spell book. Have fun with that. <laughs> I'll give her ten gold. You can go all the way to Watley's End on the coast. And that's by a train? Uh, no. New Prudence, New Prudence has a train, and from the train you can go north into Lamordia to Neuchenberg, oh, or yes. south Neuchenberg. into the Mentliu to the Port Alosine. Um, the train... It just depends. Also, the train goes... From from Neuchenberg, Neuch, Neuchlinburg to Ludendorff, Ludendorf, which is kind of on a lot of people's minds, um, the pinnacle of where high education and right. science prevails, right. even more than New Prudence. Where I'd like to go there too. Isn't New Prudence where the college is? 
There's two colleges in New Prudence. Okay. Is that New Prudence? <laughs> get off that Same old as the old. old. Um, the the train takes us there, but the borders might not let us cross. They're not sure. I propose we go to Belknap Fields to deal with this uh, this goat problem they're having, mm -hmm. and then we go to New Prudence. Sounds good to me. That's well, my suggestion, and then we can go from there. First, we need to escort uh, Belinda back to town. We, well, naturally. Did we, yeah, we, did we find the that bones was a that I'm not a jerk. of the wife? All the stuff. I want to try to find the wife. If, we're, if we came out looking for the wife's bones, I'm going to try to oh, find the wife's yeah. bones. Oh, yeah, yeah, I should probably assist with that. Well, I did sign us up for this. Yeah. <laughs> I've already tried to kill us once. It was Magnar's yeah. turn. <laughs> um, we're all going to take turns making decisions yeah. that kill us. Well, I, said, yeah, we, uh, I was like, it was so wrong for him to do that. Come on. And here I am not healing anybody that's dying and my best. <laughs> you have to decide what color of guy you are. Uh, if it's alright, I want to use one of those healing potions. Uh, but if we're going to rest, it might be a waste. Rest. Oh, fair enough. Will I get all my hit points back for a long rest? No. Yeah. Never. Okay, cool. no, you only get a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just wasn't sure if it was like a hit <laughs> die thing. No. Or... No, you'll get your hit die and your Actually, your though, full hit points. Like, if you long rest through night. Is there one yeah. where everyone's okay. going to sleep? Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, the, do the dogs are outside. Bother or keep watch. First watch. First watch. Once the weird leaves, the dogs can split. One can go in back, that, one can go in front. That perception. For yeah. watch. Okay. Yeah. I don't dream. Don't you don't, do you? No. Um, not today. Cool. Uh, that's an you get to decide that? No, just no dream. Um... Yeah, would, would you tell me what that says about that, please? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you're new to magical spells and effects that require you to dream like the dream spell, but not to sleep and blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'll have to look up on the DM because there's more stuff to that. Okay. You sleep. Yay. Oh, yeah. All of us throughout the night? No. Okay. So there sure. is no issues. Okay. You rest. See before you. It's a dream. A dream. You're on the edge of a mountain range looking out upon icy fields. There's a sparse wilderness there. There is no sun. It is even more overcast here than it is normally. The air burns your lungs and it reminds you of being hit with that cone of cold. A sharp fear washes over you. You look and the mountains range you are on as you pass through is pocked by blazing spots of heat as slow trickles of lava push down into the frozen tundra. You look into that forest and what first looks like trees and stones and ruin you also see it looks like people but they're not moving and the more you sharp sharpen your gaze against the blowing wind and the stinging cold you see that there are people that are frozen in place silently like hundreds staring frozen for an eternity. You look down and your hands frostbitten, cold, 
can barely feel them as they start to breeze, as you start to freeze, as your eyes begin to harden and turn solid and the breath in your lungs turns them to ice. Well, that's terrifying. There was two madness points. I haven't taken any yet. Oh, there you go. It's my, it's first, it's my first madness point. It's your first taste of madness. Walder, you are standing in the rain and you're watching them run. It doesn't matter how fast they run. Because with this hammer... You can always run them down. True story. The women, the children, all of them. And it's just something that you can that you can do. It doesn't matter whether they get back up broken and bloody, disfigured, and dead. Because you're just going to make them deader. And then when they rise again just going to destroy that because you're just going to keep destroying until there's nothing left because in the end this is all a big joke they just don't know the punchline yet <laughs> you take five points madness damage you wake up and the faces on your hammer on your mountain ball I keep want to call it a hammer um, they've switched sides Torin, you are staring into the wood, and the wood keeps looking back at you. But the problem is, is you, where you see your companions, you just see yourself as smaller, weaker less of the scion of Niv 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 I can't say it correct tonight and more of just a mixture of leftover parts something to be thrown away and then you can see them coming out of the wood all of them every single thing that you've ever helped slay everything that you fought and they're tearing through all of you and you just can't run away fast enough you can't get away and as they tear what you realize are fake wings from your back and start to pull what you feel like are fake nails from your claws you wake up and realize you have literally put marks in the floor um, trying to keep from being pulled back into the wood cell and you take three points of madness Oh, hey, we lost our screen. Oh, there it's back. All right. So, Magnar, you're sitting and you feel like you're dreaming, but you're not sure because who knows? Um, and you take no damage. Is it all a dream or is it simply just you know, waking bliss? Um, you're talking to Alzina and kind of trying to seeing her kind of fluctuate back and forth between the, that person that you had a conversation with and this person that you see after what happened to her this evening. 
and then you just watch her slowly falling apart. Not mentally, but physically. Her nose freezes, falls off of her face, slops down. She reaches out for you, skin on her hands, flakes, and starts to fall off. She opens her mouth to talk and her teeth start to just fall. Her jaw unhinged, her tongue lolling out, rotting and falling to the floor in front of you and eventually just falling apart. And you look around the room at your other compatriots who are there drinking, people you've known almost your entire adult life, people who helped push you to be smarter, push you to be better, push you to solve problems, and not just with these, but with this. And they're all rotting. They're all falling apart. And you look down, and so are you. You are stone being the flake and the soft nothingness underneath until all you can see is the bone of your hand and you reach up to touch your face. You feel the softness of an eyeball slowly becoming ooze and leaking onto your palm before you gasp and wake up, choking on your own spittle. It's alright, I'm not playing. <laughs> Eight. That's a 20 blister. <laughs> uh, core. Alright, so. Uh, I can't dream. Uh, so I oh, I think you can. Well. So Kalashtar sleep, but they don't connect to the plane of dreams as other creatures do. Instead, their minds draw from the memories of their otherworldly <laughs> spirit while they sleep. So the quarry that one. I'm connected to uh, and can send oh, me yeah. a um, giving you another one for you to memories. check on it. So, so I don't know if anyone who has it. <laughs> Take five points, hit points of damage. Alright. Oh, five hit points? Not yes. madness? Everyone have an inspiration. Five hit points, you wake up. Okay. And you're you feel like you're having your head split in two. As something just was check on it. this force crushing your head, trying to push its way in. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> That's how bad I am. Well got to scare myself. That's just how bad I am. Allie, you see your friend or I didn't say friends. Your compatriots, compatriots, compatriots. Yes. Gosh, come on. Your friends is a strong. Did yeah. I forgot strong my wallet <laughs> at least once a day for the last three days in a row? So I, I feel you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it has never been like, oh, I got out to my car. Oh, I forgot my wallet. It's like I'm 15 minutes away from the house, and I have to go all the way back. <laughs> you see, fear, Marina, Celia, and Summerhild. In, be in the best of time. You see them when they maybe they did care, maybe they didn't. But the best of you thinks that they did. And the best of you thinks that you did too. And then you see them slowly going mad in those caves beneath Pikmin's Hollow until you're left all alone hungry thirsty terrified and alone there's nothing to eat you're going to die here there's nothing to sustain you except Take a knife. And you take one of your own fingers. And you slowly, meticulously sever it cleanly. Oof. 
Team to win. The wound. The wound clean. You keep the wound clean. And you choke down the sustenance. But you realize you don't know how long you can keep doing this. Your dream drags until you have no left hand and your belly is distended but full. You haven't slept for days. And you can feel your hand move inside you. No. Down, you can see it pressing on your stomach. You got the worst one. No, I totally got the worst one. <laughs> mm-hmm. You make your fist. <laughs> And you wake up, and you almost like phantom pain in your left hand. You look, and it's there, and you still look down, and your stomach is pressing out. And then you wake up again, and you're actually at home. Oh, oh I'm scared. Yeah. Take six. That was the worst one. That was absolutely the worst one. Almost as bad as it had to be. That's You, know, it's you all wake up. When the chat says holy moly. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Keep careful. Uh, um, <laughs> Rouse. You all wake up. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I if, if you have a condition yeah. that would be eliminated by sleep, roll me percentiles. Hilo. Oh, You can do two tens as long as you decide which one's first. That's when high level fall first. Uh, oh, you gotta choose high level first. Uh, low, I guess. Okay. Nope. nope. Seventy, no yep. eighty. Your conditions are still on. You feel like you rested enough to get hit points, but you're. Like, Is it in the necrotic damage? Is that in a condition? Because no. otherwise, I don't have a condition. Yeah, you're fine. Low. Sorry, that's low. Uh, no, that's a that ninety-three. Oh, jeez. Right. You saw your level would exactly would have wound up back in that bag. But you get your hit points back. Okay, awesome. Um, those of you who still have the strength drain are that you still have that on as well. I was going to ask about that. That was what I was afraid. That requires a greater yeah. restoration. Those are hard to come by. That's like level five, so, isn't it? Yeah. Belinda well, says that she noticed, couldn't help but notice that it looks like none of you slept very well. Mm. Can't imagine why. That's the truth. Oh, I slept like a baby. Did you really? Yeah. Do you sleep away. well out here? <laughs> you learn to adjust. She says, but I also know that this will help. And Ozzy kind of looks up at her and kind of per- she looks like she didn't sleep at all. Just we can use a cart to get back to town. You need to sleep because I don't want you throwing an axe when you can't walk. This is the queen's pillow, and it's tiny buds on a plant. She picks them off. She says, "If you care for the plant, they'll grow back quickly." You chew them and leave them under your tongue when you go to sleep. It doesn't work every time, but it works more often than not. You probably see now why travelers would come to me. People who did not. I was born here. I've dealt with this my entire life. I've just heard stories of what it was like before the mist came. That people like Heg, who show up, who are not from here. There's an adjustment that has to be made. Is this a local plant? You can find it if you know what to look for. And if you're willing to go, especially into with caves I, and find it. With my um, wandering and wanderer ability, I'd be able to find that stuff. Right? No with way. enough time? Yeah. She kind I, of... I can just scavenge for anything in, in the area with that, with that trait. Anything that we need, I can find it. 
No, I would say you've got more of an. You've got. A, I well, give you like within check. within yeah. reason, if it's like in the area. Yeah. Um, I would say because it's Ravenloft, uh, or not Ravenloft. It's uh, because it's a Man's of Dread. I would say it's you've got per- high percentage chance of oh, finding. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but she says, you know, if if you if that's something that you want to learn more about, I have books about this area that you could read that would increase okay. your chance. Yeah, I, 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 four and five. Then I could help him. Too. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we, whatever books we can find, we split them, I suppose. But most of the time this plant especially is found in the caves and the high hills that surround in this area. Okay. They're slightly dangerous. They're definitely not creepy. Okay. Not if you have ever met the walking fungus, then yes. I'll squish them. I'm just going to step on them. But yeah. if you are willing to Burn them. trade and willing to observe what is theirs then my husband and I had no problems with them it's the world is an ecosystem even one is such as this if you treat it correctly it will at least allow you the opportunity to survive Maybe. I'll take any knowledge you have about the any useful local plants. She kind of digs around like as you guys are packing stuff and she throws you a book. She's like, I have no need of this. I've, I've memorized it since I was there. Okay. Put it in my bag. Um, it's... What's the name of the book? It is... Let me think of a good name here. Artemis Hoots. Okay, one, just one second. I'm still getting set up. Arte, H O Hoot is it an owl? Hoot, Hoot. Yeah, uh, giant owl. What a great name. Yeah. <laughs> Artemis Hoots. Field guide. <laughs> awesome. To shrooms and shrubbery. To yes. shrooms and shrubbery. <laughs> so if we ever have to bring, is it spelled out or with the little and it, sign? Oh, it's with the and sign. That's the ampersand. Shrooms and shrubbery. Not even mushrooms. Shrooms. Shrooms. Mm. Shrooms and shrubberies. It's a shrubbery. So one that DM looks nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have the scroll of Zone of Truth, mm-hmm. but it's not available on the wizard spell list. That's a different. Because it's a divine magic spell. Yeah. So no. It's the same thing with Greater Restoration. Yeah. So that would be like somebody else's, like it would be a different class. Yeah, yeah. Divine Caster would have. So like a cleric or something like that. Yeah. You can still use the scroll. But right. Yeah, you can use you the scroll. It. But I can't. Anybody in this room can use the scroll. Right, right. But I can't put that into my book. So is this, this book that I've been given, does that cover just this area? Or would it cover like the whole like realm that we're in? Um, It would like, cover what, what region? the rural areas of Derelith. Okay. Which is the country you find yourself in, up to a New Prudence, because once you get past there, you start to head towards the coast, and that is a different environment. How do we spell the kingdom? Dur- is it Derleth? Derleth. Derleth. D e r a l e t h. Okay. <clears throat> I will give ten hit points to anyone who knows where that name comes from. Ten, like max hit points. Temporary. Over your over your normal hit points. Permanent Is increase. The name Derelith, <laughs> where the name Derelith comes from? Because it's not a, D, it's not your normal D and D thing. It's from um, Newhart. Hmm. Mystery Science Theater. No, but Derelith and his other brother Derelith. 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 Gustus Derelith. He is the man who bought all of Lovecraft's work after he died uh, and uh, po- or started Arkham House. So. Nice. Hmm. Almost I was just going to guess that all the you names it. in this area are somehow a love Artemis Hoot. Hoot. Except for that. Is uh, Artemis just... Hoot a person that we can potentially meet? Or is he dead? No, oh, he's dead. You have no idea. I would, I would let's, <laughs> let's make that a goal. Of this <laughs> particular. I want to meet Artemis Hoot. <laughs> he's a lich now. <laughs> <He's a lich. laughs> I do think that would be cool if Artemis uh, Hoot. He is an owl. He's just an owl. He just wears like a golden owl mask. 
turns into a giant owl randomly, but doesn't fly around. He just hides behind, <laughs> hides behind bushes. You don't encourage him. <laughs> hides, hides behind bushes. You don't encourage him either. Do you have like 10 feet taller no, than the bush? No, <laughs> we're not doing this. All right. Get back on, on track. Get down the road. Get people. <laughs> on the road. Okay. Right, um, get down the road. Anything else you want to do before you head back to Belknap's field? No. I'll just study my new map. No. Put up a grave marker for her family. Yeah, if she wants, if she wants to. So in the morning, the daughter, whose name is Ketch, asks you why her dad and brothers are not coming home. Really? Asks us. Asks. No, bother. <laughs> Good luck with that one. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, well, found it. <laughs> they are. Visiting a farm. Oh. <laughs> a far, a far away. Terrible story. And they're... She looks at you and she says, Why are they not going with us? Why are we leaving? Uh, uh, Can I use performance? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Just Jedi mind trick. A wave of a hand. Uh, I'm going to reroll that because that's a crap roll. That would be 20. Oh, nice. What are you doing? She's going to tell her a story about the fact that her father and her brothers can't go with them because they've gone someplace where they're more needed. Like a farm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. Like a, a farm. <laughs> they've gone to... They have more... <laughs> Their journey means more they work than ours. Them. It's more important. They have better work to do. She looks up at you and she goes, But aren't they dead? Death is only one part of the journey. That's safe. Sometimes mom talks to dead people. Yeah, that dead. Sometimes she talks to them more than she talks to us. I have friends that do the same. Some good people. I try to talk to them. I wonder if I'll be ta- able to talk to to Dieter and Kyle. Dieter. Did you just say Kyle? Kyle. Oh God, I was about to be like, really? <laughs> I don't know, but <laughs> if I can suggest, don't be in too much of a hurry. You've got time. Why did that man come and take away? Everything. That I can't answer, but it seems to me there are just some people in this world that make terrible decisions and do terrible things. You can't control those people, but you can control yourself. You can control the actions that you choose to take. She kind of looks at you and she kind of shakes her head. She kind of scampers back inside. She comes back out, and she's got a, what looks like a bastard sword over her shoulder, and it looks way big on her. Mm-hmm. She's like, this was my father's. So I'm going to carry it. How old is she? She is uh, about 13. So this one's like... As big as she is. Yeah. Well, they were all pretty young. So. At least she made it to her teens, guys. Yeah. The other two didn't. Yeah. (laughs) It's really a story of triumph right now. Yeah, it's (laughs) brightened right out. (laughs) She's like, I'm going to make sure that no one gets hurt like that. Yes, take the path of vengeance. (laughs) Is the sword in a scabbard? Yeah. Can I, it looks really uh, nice. Like does it's, it, can I? Uh, don't steal it. I'm not going to steal Maybe it. Maybe percent. I want to see a perception if, check. The, if the blade has been properly cared for and if it hasn't, I'm going to. I'm going to make a perception check. Seven. Oof. Nineteen. Fourteen. Oof. Uh, eight. You guys are very close. Twenty-two. Shit. All right. Twenty-two. All right. Fifteen to twenty. Yeah. Oh, um, her mom just not even paying attention to anything that she's doing. She just has checked out on her kid. 
20 or above. 22. Yep. You kind of have a feeling this might be just how the family operated. That mom had a lot going on and maybe dad kind of took care of the kids. Um, so she seems extremely um, able to take care of herself in a very rudimentary fashion. Um, you were looking at the weapon? Yeah, let's see if it like, needs Make any attention. Check. <laughs> Natural one. I will take the red card. Oh, the hurt so bad. You could have used one earlier. You didn't. It's the worst. Um, that is an, I have a really nice sword that this little girl has. Like it is meticulously taken care of. The scabbard looks good, but I mean it. That blade when when you you ask if you can see it, she says stand back, and she pulls it out of the sheath, and it shines. And she pulls it out, and she says, "Do you promise to give it back?" Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll give it back. I'll, she I'll puts almost, it on her I'll hands like step. she's done it before and mm-hmm. she holds it off. I'm going to take it in both hands and just kind of look it over, check the balance of it. Make me an arcana check. <clears throat> um, and I have the uh, amulet of the arcane so I can roll at advantage for an arcane check three times a day. Uh, that is 14 plus 16 total. Yeah, this is a magic sword. Sweet. <laughs> um... Yeah, it just like you know, if it it's not rusty or anything, I'll ask ask her if she's you know, has, did your father ever show you how to take care of a weapon like this? She looks around. She says, "We took this from the Belknap house. I oh. heard he <laughs> killed an ogre for it. Dad did it with his bare hands. It's impressive. He was impressive. Did uh, did he show you how to care for a weapon like this?" Well, duh. <laughs> Good. 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 Duh. Do you show you how to swing it? Kinda. Sounds uh, like you've got some practicing. If, take on my great sword. Do some fancy like practice moves. I can show you. Make a persuasion check. I'm gonna give her the sword back. Only twelve. I'm gonna use a lucky and roll it. Yeah. She takes it back very like very proudly. Nope, I got worse. Puts it in her use. Yeah, I'm gonna use that lucky. Can I identify the sword? Yeah, you can. Oh there you go, that's a seventeen. She kind of looks very I don't wanna take her sword. I'm just gonna show her how to to use it a bit. Like I'll use my own. She can practice with that one. Maybe. I can show you. I know how to swing mine. She's kind of looking at all your stuff. Table kind of like, maybe. Uh, do you want to identify it? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to do identification a little differently when it comes to weapons. You can identify it by name which will give you what it does. Everything is going to do things a little differently. Just because I think it's more fun that way. But you're going to have to give something to it to do it. Um, because once you get something's name, it means you have some power over it. So... Do I give it my blood? You can use hit points. You can use gold. You can spend a magic item, especially an expendable one like a scroll or a potion. But it's going to be magic for magic when it comes to identification. So I can't give it my blood. You can hit points, yeah. But do I lose those hit points permanently? Not permanently. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. How much? <laughs> you don't get it. It's fine. Yeah. 33. He does not want points. the eternal paper cut. <laughs> Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Every time you touch <laughs> something. Five <laughs> points. And then you find out, like, you, she lets you hold the sword. You're kind of looking at it. 
and you whisper the stab it through my hand. You, you like, oh, that's very sharp. You cut your hand on it, and then let your hand touch the pommel. Um, and it kind of glows for a second. She's like, are you okay? And you're like, and you kind of whisper some words. Um, and you find out that her sword's name is Warrior. What's the name of the sword? No. Oh. oh boy. Oh mm. man. Uh, name is Skirt. Screw <laughs> Dope. Perfect. Those are my citrus. Nope. <laughs> I'm on brand with this. It makes you feel kind of nauseous uh, if you get hit with it. Like, if you don't die, you're like, oh, God. It, uh, it is a plus two sword with a d6 plus two. Oh, Lord, you're going to take the thing so well. Dips. <laughs> Dips. I, also, need a, I need a magic weapon. On a DC 15 con save, if you fail, if you're struck with the sword, you are poisoned. Fuck yeah. Uh, well, so for 1d4 plus 2. Scurvy. So maybe it's the kid I get the sword. The, it's not saving the sword. Right? It's her pommel. sword. Said, if something happens for to the right kid, now. I get the sword. The pommel it's has a sword. tiny skull in it. I'm not going to take it from her. She it. gives it to As somebody. This man. Arg. I need some magic. Yeah, I don't have any. you say just D6 or 2D6? Because yeah, a great sword is 2D6. It's a bastard sword. Bastard sword. Okay, so it's just a D6. I believe so. Mm-hmm. They're uh, versatile, though, I think. It might be versatile. It's like a centaur. Like that, they should be. Centaur? Uh, Bastard Sword is. Oh, it's different. Yeah, it's you're like in between a long sword and a no. great sword. It's, mm-hmm. it's, doesn't matter currently. But oh. that's. Oh, okay. Four and a half ish. But that's what you. Yeah. Fucker sword. So she. They're still pretty big. She doesn't know the name of it. The sword is like so as tall as she do. is. Yeah, it's a big sword. It's got to carry it on her back. There's sure. a Bastard Sword in here. Not because it'd be different. Yeah, they're an older edition. So I had you back to her. We'll do one d six. They're cool fine. swords. Yeah. They're cool. Oh, she says thank you and smiles. I and give her the I give her the deets. Oh, you tell her about it? Yeah. She's like, my sword has a name. She just looks down at it and her eyes are very big. Make sure to tell her to treasure it more than she already does. Yeah, like this is a very powerful. Don't hit someone with it unless you. At that point, you hear them. you hear. All Xena yelling. We could use some help with the carts. Sure. I'm still yeah, half strength. Yeah, go help so. out, guys. I'm at yeah. ha- I'm, I'm still with the cart. You guys are also strong. I'm not. Sword. I'm at half strength. <laughs> you guys are so strong. <laughs> like just like does like the slow, <laughs> judgy head turn. <laughs> so it's a, You guys load the carts up. Or the cart. <clears throat> It's Based about strength, a five-hour <laughs> trip back because oh, yeah, you you're loaded this, yeah. up some, you know, a lot of the apothecary stuff. Are we pulling the cart? Do they have a horse? They had a horse. Okay. A plow horse, so it's not exactly what you'd want. To it's a for. horse, that's for um, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys make it and... Two carts? One. One cart. And... You get back to Belknap's field, fields, and they open the walls and they let you in. And Alzina goes right to um, the residence of Harold Bettinger to check on him. Um, Robert. Robert. Rabbit. And Agnes have been taking care of Caro. So immediately, Belinda assists Cora with that. And she starts to show improvement pretty rapidly. So a night passes relatively quietly. Oh, okay. Yeah, you bring the bones back. That's that's what I did while they were taking care of her. He gives you whatever you agreed upon. 
He didn't give me those two scrolls. Yeah. He also... Did he give me money? Let's say he also gives you 30 gold. He okay. says, this is all I have. Did you get his money? For I him? take 15 of it. Looks around. And he gives you a key. Ooh, shifty. What's the key for? No one lives there anymore. It's empty. So, for now, while you're here, you're welcome to it. What? What? Anything that's in it. What is it? What is it? Oh, there's a T. What is it? It's a house. It's not, nothing special. In the woods? No, it's in town. Mm. On the wall. Better than sleeping in a barn. Yeah, let's go. Let's, let's go. I'm going alone to do this. <laughs> we don't know. He can go sleep at the house and we can yeah. stay in the barn. I mean, yeah. I, I'm, I'm milling about, That's so maybe right. I follow it. I don't know. The house isn't probably huge, right? It's big enough. Okay, I'll be nice. If it's big enough where we could all sleep comfortably, then sure. So... That night, you guys have dinner all with Robert and Agnes <clears throat> and Belinda. And Caro is talking about Shugnigaroth and the Black Light of War, the Wars of a Thousand Realm, and how what she's been seeing in these towns and hamlets is that. And they worship things like this, and they've been in this for however long, and they can't contact these things that they did these festivals to. The other things that worship them become unpredictable, and those symbiotic relationships, they've broken down. That's why you see things like they do in Pikmin's Hollow. She tells a story about going to a place called Howard Stone, which is a hamlet very similar to this. She was went there last month. She had been there two months before. Everyone was dead. The herd? She kind of thinks about it. I don't think so. Outside I think of, it was something else. Outside of their range or it was a weird feeling when you went there. Like there was some echo. No signs of any trails, any signs of the people, were there bodies or were all the people gone? There were bodies. And some of them had been torn apart and some of them had been piked and put up but I'm smart enough to know and I've had enough anatomy classes and I've even been to Lamordia and I've been to anatomy studies those bodies were desecrated after they were dead he said that this their minds were broken first there was something where they just stopped and he said that the herd serves something else that has other I don't think the herd knows what to serve anymore he said have we tried serving anything else maybe we look at other options what kind of options are you talking about she puts her glasses on and does a glass in front she's like well there's a whole history of other Entities like Sub Nigger Off, isn't there? There's a myriad of great old ones. We could go back to colleges and look at that. I mean, of course, we could dig, and I mean, there's books upon books upon books in this field, and we could find all sorts of information, and we could extrapolate could. further knowledge, and that way we could. Yeah, we could. We could. Would it matter, though? Yeah. Well, it always matters. You know why? Because these entities are stronger than anything we know. 
No, but if they if there's already a problem created by the fact that they have seemingly been forced to abandon their But I don't think they're here anymore. I think we're worshiping nothing. You think they're gone? I don't think they can talk to us here. I think that's why they were angry about the sacrifices, and it, because it wasn't doing anything for them. Mm. Robert kind of, and Agnes both looked down, kind of ashamed. And she's like, I don't mean to demean you, but I know what you did here. I know what communities like Howard Stone were doing. Taking, a, you know, choosing by lottery a baby every few months and leaving it on the altar. How you open up communication? I, that was the agreement. I don't. I think it just stopped working because whenever we came here, wherever here is, I don't think they can talk to that anymore. And as much as we study it, and as many people reach out and try to touch it. Any of those entities, they can't reach it. Just like, I'm assuming, just based upon what you look like and our limited amount of time together, you're not from here. Can you go home? All right. I don't so. know. <laughs> Never found out that <clears throat> yet, either way. Because I think that's a one way door, and it's firmly shut and locked. Yep. Investigate the Pikmin estate. No. And I really want to see the door open because I want to see what's on the other side. No. Oh cool. boy. <laughs> Curiosity killed the cat. So I'm true. not dead yet, and I'm not a cat. Nice Cats spend. don't take damage. I <laughs> nice spent decades working. Curious <laughs> cat. Rule book. Not in our D and D campaigns. I spent decades working for curious people, and I'm still here. So if you think there's a way we might be able to get back, I'll help you. About that time, Belinda Vin chimes in. She says, well, if you really want to see if anything's afoot, I'd go to Belknap's mansion. That's what I meant. Sorry, Belknap's Mansion, not the Pikmin Estate. I was like, no, I will die getting, there. I was getting my, name, my name's all She twisted. turns and looks at you and she says, but somebody's going to have to talk to the forest in order to make that happen. That's where we're going to stop for ah! tonight. Oh. Nice. So, um, let's go around the table and everyone. Oh, we're at 959. We're really good tonight. Yeah, good timing. Um, we'll go around the table and uh, give your where they can find you, and uh, we'll say our good nights. Can you start with me? Of course, I will start with you. Same as usual. Can't find me anywhere. I don't exist. <laughs> don't try. I'm invisible. Uh, you can still find me at WarriorMN on Twitter and Instagram. Also, I just want to point out, Warrior is building a t-shirt. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> that is simply brilliant. Um, and I really hope it becomes reality. Oh, we'll see. I literally was in a library when that popped <laughs> up, and I was laughing, and I had to go to a room and shut the door. It's, so, fine. it's, it's fine. fine. It's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, you can find me at Mike is Triple H on Twitter, and that is the only place, really. Only place. I don't really have any Instagrams or any of those other fancy social medias. You can find me everywhere at or invite, spelled like it sounds, on all uh, all platforms. Uh, you can find me at the Nick Gage Invitational on Saturday in Chicagoland, and at the live pro wrestling show. Who do you have, Matt? I have uh, Miyamoto and Jimmy Lloyd. That sounds like a real fun weekend. It's a it's a big weekend. It's a huge weekend. Uh, I love how you play it off like, oh, it's no big deal. You know, <laughs> just another Japanese legend. It's, it's just what I do now, no apparently. Big deal. No big um, deal. Um, yeah, I, I do want to say, I, when when are we going to start signing a petition for Sakamoto? 
for Dice K. Dice K or invite. I need that. Oh, oh boy. He's a big boy. You kill me. His arms are huge. They're like the size of people's thighs. Oh, shit. You kill me. I want to see it. I'd watch it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> T-shirts? You take a picture? Yeah. yeah. Shop.spreadshirt.com slash or invite. And he's a Dino Bravo guy. So keep that in mind. That's what I hear. You can yeah. find me at uh, Cubicle Zombie on Instagram and Twitter. You can also find me at the Pro Wrestling Show at the Minsky Theater on Sunday. I'll be in the audience, not in the ring. Oh, this is a robust <laughs> film, mate. You're like, oh, I Same. thought you'd wrestle it finally. <laughs> Oh. Come on, Nate! Spoilers. Nate, Get it together. Just be my manager for a fucking day. <gasps> oh, you yeah. You know what? I do kind of want to see this happen. <laughs> would now? Would you dress up as yourself, or would you dress up as as maybe you know someone with a lantern and a hat? Oh, man, would you dress up like a wizard? Or a wizard? Oh, I could be a wizard. I have the beard for that. The wizard, yeah. wizard yeah. for the yeah. wizard king. We could be like an apprentice. You know, he's like the wizard he's king. Yeah. He's a friend. Like you could bring him <laughs> stuff. Like. Ideas. <laughs> like you're, like you're bring me the thumbtacks. You're, you're like a wizard's apprentice pushing a shopping cart you full of them, weapons. You, yeah. you fetch yeah. him the bag of thumbtacks. No. You know, the uh, entrance video could just be the entirety of Fantasia. Yeah. 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 This gets this writes itself. Yeah. Yeah. It's getting better. It's getting better and better. That makes you Mickey, basically. Start the Because I just feel like yeah. if, if if you're already the wizard king, like where do you go from there? You know, like emperor. Can you have a wizard emperor though? I feel like that's yeah. God. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. that's like yeah. dividing by zero. I feel, I feel like, like you can, like, or just be like, I'm not a wizard at all. No, I'm just a lich. We talked about it earlier. Oh, <laughs> Undead, circumventing the process, <laughs> living forever. It's how we do it. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Smarky Batch with an E, not an I, or you can follow our podcast at Married Marks. Check us out at MarriedMarks.com. And you've got stuff possibly coming down the pike soon. I do. Can you like, say anything about it? So I can't I say it anything yet. I can Secrets. say something next session. Okay. It's exciting. I get to do some writing stuff. Uh, it'll be dope. I just can't say much about it yet. Um, I am your King Ginger. Um, Heel Turn Radio, D and D D T, which like basically everyone in this room is involved in some way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. Casual Doug on the one and twos. Thank you, Casual Doug. Um, Doug. You can find our T-shirts at What a Maneuver, Wham Fam. F -f 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 What's a four? Four life. Um, or three life, three life. Uh, and what else? Um, extra life. Yeah, speaking of life, extra, oh, yeah. extra life. Yeah. I think everybody here is going to be a part of that. I'll keep it relatively I brief. So. Um, we're going all twenty-five hours. Oh, God. Everyone, it's hard to do. To yeah, there, there, there is a break. mandatory That's not true. I there's could a, never do that. Yeah, there's I a would mandatory break. I would, I'm so bad at doing like the all nighter yeah. thing. It's like I'm just. So I did all the ones. We, we, we played one year where we did sure. require breaks and people got a little too wiggy. So, so I'm gonna have to take at least one session off. What November second? I got bad. November second, first Saturday in November. November second. Um, we generally cool. play for 24, but because it's it's daily say it's time to play for 25. Actually. 25 hours straight of RPGs. We will be having this location. Um, I was messaged actually during our session tonight. There'll be another location um, going on again this year that is kind of our co-team. Are they broadcasting? Um, I think they're going to broadcast this year. Excellent. Uh, we might additionally have because we it sounds like we're that many people that we might have a table of just board games going on upstairs. Oh, cool. So if you're not involved in the game currently going on downstairs, there is probably going to be a game going on upstairs. Okay. Some could be an extra that. RPG session or yep, two could be that. as well. Um, so <laughs> it is going to be a good time. But the big thing is go to the Known World United. That is our team. Donate. It's for Gillette Children's Hospital. Give us your um, dollars. Please. So we can uh, them. And if you can't donate, spread the word. Um, we still have a lot of time before we actually have our 25-hour our, our, uh, marathon. So look around, put a couple bucks back. Um, it's us being able to play the game that we love with our friends and be able to help kids who need it. So 
Our, um, our goal this year is 6,666, so help us get there. They forced us around to... I'm into it. We're, play, we're playing with some here numbers. Here is 66. Yeah. Uh, you've been watching d and DDT. I didn't kill anyone, so... Yay! Yeah, we nobody's, Yay! nobody's on the brink of death. Oh, really this is the it. first time everyone's we're been, safe. like, up and Some of like, y'all are safe. Some of, all you, some of y'all are weak. Well, weak, but, you know... Yeah. I got all so, my health though. Right, we're just squishy. And I'm a dance class. So big, so strong. Oh, by the way, you guys all leveled. Yay! Whoa! So thank you to everyone. For, I know. It's just how you keep. You have casual magic. <laughs> so thank you all who watched. Tell your friends. Tell your mom's friends. Tell your enemies. Tell your enemies. Uh, we hope to see you in two weeks. So we know where to find them. Bye. 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 Thank you.